I've officially changed the sponsor of the, the unofficial hydration sponsor. I'm not sponsor at all, but, but uh, I've usually been a Mount Franklin person on the streams, but nope, Mount Franklin is not coming to my local Coles, so instead I've actually gone with the Coles home brand, Australian Natural Spring Water. It is apparently good according to the label itself. Let's see how it goes. Okay, on three, three, two, one, uh, something. Hello everybody, welcome to the stream, it is the BNR stream today on this fine 22nd of May 2023. I hope you are having a wonderful week, and will have a wonderful week ahead of you. Uh, my week has been chaotic, hectic, lots of stuff going on. Um, <laughs> real, real crazy, just lots of things going on, so... I've noticed with the Coles bottle it's a lot, you know, flimsier. Like, the rigidity of the bottle is not as harsh, but... Or not as, uh, not as tight. But, anyway, let's dive right into it. There we go. Wah! <laughs> uh, so yeah, so I'm playing Pokemon, uh, Sapphire yet again. It's the same game as last week. I thought you'd, you'd never ask. You'd never know. Um, but yeah, uh, so in the last stream, uh, I basically worked up all the way to Slateport City. We went to Moorville, pushed to Verdant Turf. And then did the gym. Lots of fighting, lots of stuff there. Uh, but now, now it's time to move on up a little bit. There's a couple of trainers out east, but I think, probably, I'm a bit set to just go north. Go north, tally ho, let's just see how we go. Um, we'll definitely find some new Pokemon this stream, so don't worry. Uh, I've got this nice little party here. We've got a Brushy here, who currently knows Cut. Now, Brushy is quite amazing, because you go to your TMs, uh, we got Rock Smash, and we're gonna need Rock Smash. You need Rock Smash in order to keep going up north, and look at that, Brushy can learn Rock Smash. How incredible. Rock Smash is a kind of trash move in combat, though. 20 power? That's just not that great, given that Headbutt here is 70. And you got the Stab. Not a lot of fighting type Pokemon to go around, but... Given that I'm not really gonna be using Brushy in combat, it's just gonna kind of be a, a bit of a hedge and slate. Oh, we got Growl. Gave him Rock Smash. Uh, where was the Name Raider? Did we pass the Name Raider? Was he here? Because I, I realized Shedinja doesn't have a name. Um, and he never will have a name. I can't remember off the top of my head what the Name Raider was. Maybe it was in Verdant Turf. Well, I'm not really going to be using Shedinja too much. We'll probably swap them out soon. But onwards and upwards to Route 111, where we find a couple of things. I challenged the win straight family, but four matches in a row is tough going. They destroyed me. Oh my goodness, okay. So, uh, so yeah, so we got the win straight uh, family here. Do I dare go up against them, or do I come back? I didn't even heal off last stream, I just kind of winged it, apparently. Um, because I do have Nonogram is gonna be, you know, one of my big party members, but I'm also kind of in the in the vibe of, well, I might as well fight them, but, yeah, if I, if I start doing some preferential treatment later in the stream, you'll see why. Because, I don't know, I feel like the gym is kind of up there in terms of the, uh, you know, the levels you need to be, like, what was he? We tended towards level 20, and then here we go, we have trainers that are nowhere near level 20. So, uh, let's just dive right into it, actually. Yeah, yeah, let's just dive right into it. Hello, I take it you're a traveler. How's this? What do you say to taking on our family of four in a series of Pokemon battles? No! Is that so? Drop it if you change my- Okay, fine. That's the spirit I like you. So, uh, yo, know, so the win straights here are just four battles, back to back. Obviously, this guy is the victor. Uh, he's got a Taylor. It's actually, for some reason, Bulbapedia has the, um, has the actual movesets on these. So this Taylor right here, uh, this is the Taylor. It's got Growl, Focus Energy, Quick Attack, and Wing Attack. Watch out for the Wing Attack, but otherwise not too much. And even then, you only watch out for the Wing Attack when it's gonna, like, you know, super effective, basically. But it's a Taylor. You, you should expect that. And then he's also got a Zigzagoon right here, so I'm gonna switch over to... I could switch to Shedinja, but I feel like as a meme, I'm probably not going to have Shedinja really doing too much. We got Nonogram here. So the Zigzagoon has Growl, Tail Whip, Headbutt, and Sand Attack. Nothing really too mean. 
Um, now we're going to drop a screech. Why not? And I don't think I'm really going to do... Oh, I don't think I was going to do a Fury Cutter. I feel like this is a, uh, you know, a Fury Swipes moment. Well, okay, I... Okay, sure. Sure, I guess. Easy enough. You're a lot tougher than I expected! Yeah, I know I am. Hey y'all, Scott here. I found a pretty strong trainer. Okay. Oh my goodness, aren't you young? You must be quite the trainer to be my husband, though. It's my turn to battle now. Oh my goodness. So yeah, yeah, you are thrown into another battle. I hope you, uh... Well, you don't heal, but it's also not too bad. This is Victoria. She's got a Roselia. It's level 17. This one knows growth, poison sting, and most importantly... Oh, a stun sport, and most importantly for me, Mega Drain. I ain't fighting this with Mudkip. Get the heck out of Dodge. It's a grass type. Mmm. That's not fun. That's not fun, so... I'm gonna use Fury Cutter. I got the double effective because it's bug type. That's not double effective, but sure. The speed boost will help that over time. Like, right now. I would have preferred to be poison, to be honest. Uh, also an Aura Berry. I think... Actually, I don't think anyone else has an Aura Berry. I think it's just, like, this Roselia and the two before. Uh, if the Zigzagoon had an opportunity to use it. Not too bad. One plug one. Kick the butt. There's a strong trainer here! This one's really strong! You're stronger than mommy? Wow! But I'm strong too! Really! Honestly! Oh my gosh, okay. In comes... Vivi. Vivi. <laughs> Sends out the Meryl. This Meryl knows Defense Call, Tail Whip, Water Gun, and Roll Out, so... You could probably just tackle it. This Meryl is a bit bulky, but... Uh... The Meryl's got thick fat, if you ever have an Ice-type attack by this point in the game, I guess. Mm. Yeah, the water ain't too bad. Someone's gonna tell me, like... You know, like, uh... Oh, you know, it's water. How much differently can water taste? It's partially the container and partially where the source of the water was always. Because, like, we don't filter water out too... Too, uh... Too finely enough to truly get rid of that. Oh, it's got leech seed. Um, that being said, I don't know, I think a lot of spring water tastes the same to me. Um, but like, you can tell the difference between spring water, uh, rain water, boil water, you could, like, you drink enough water, you could probably tell the difference between all of them, just in terms of taste. They're probably all mostly good anyways. You know, they got the differences. Well, yeah, so I have a technology topic uh, for you today. Oh, do I have it on already? Or... Yeah, switch it over. Wow. I have a wonderful technology topic for everyone. Uh, so we have had an article come out uh, about the, uh, the 4060 Ti. Also, I guess we've had the 4060 Ti get announced. I was expecting this to be announced at Computex, which would have been just before the stream next week. Uh, also, I, I didn't even read out that uh, Shroomish has absorbed tackle, stun spore, and leech speed. Probably more mild than the Roselia in the end. Uh, and this Numel has Growl, Tackle, and Ember. It's a, it's a bit easy. And it's Fire Ground. Listen, any water attack, it's, it's a gone. Thanks! Grandma! <laughs> oh my gosh. How dare you make my granddaughter cry! For that I'm going to smack you! Uh... Uh... <laughs> 2003, wild year, I swear. Here's the last one. Win straight to Vicky! Good old Vicky. What's up with V? Maybe it's something to do with victory or something like that. Uh, this Meditite knows high jump kick, meditate, confusion, and detect. A wonderful job for Sableye. 
Actually, uh, I, I, I'm trying not to use Sableye, so. You've probably not got anything to really defeat your starter. No matter what style you have, I don't think you can really do anything about it. Maybe Psychic? On the f yeah, yeah, maybe. <laughs> Nothing really too bad, so. There we go. If you're not in any hurry, visit with us a while! Anyway, I defeated all all these people who are in this house, and what do you do? You're the first trainer I've seen who deploys Pokemon so masterfully. But I should tell you, my son is stronger than you. He even took the Pokemon League challenge, I'll have you know. There's no question that you're strong, but if you were to battle my grandson, you'd end up crying in frustration. He's much stronger than any trainer our family knows. He must be challenging the Pokemon League champion by now. Knowing my grandson, he could be the champion already. No, 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 no. We use this Macho Brace to more effectively strengthen our Pokemon in training. Since you've been our entire family, I don't know if you need it, we would like you to have our Macho Brace. Oh, cool. So yeah, the good old Macho Brace, uh, the Macho Brace that lets you, um, uh, pretty much just double effort values that come in. So, who is this big brother, I, I say? We may find out eventually. Uh, yeah, it doubles effort values coming in, which is neat, but... Mm, I mean, depends how... You know... I actually don't know how well that goes in the single player. It actually would be kind of neat, because it's just like your Pokemon is getting double the stat boosts. But, at, at the end of the day, I think that only equates to like... 60 total stats by level 1000. Level 100. Um, so I don't know if that would actually manifest in really too much change. I don't know. I've never really tried it, so... Anyway, go up north a little bit more. Look, it's a rock. Fun fact, this very exact rock was my first shiny. A Geodude popped out, and it was shiny, and I caught him. I don't have that cartridge anymore, but... <laughs> oh, look at these people. Oh, I should probably set up my team for a double battle, finally. Pop him in second. Oh, we just spotted a tough-looking trainer here of all places. Okay, roll camera, let's get this interview. Let's get this bread. Uh... So yeah, yeah, fight the, fight the interviewers yet again. Is this the second time they showed up? They showed up last year, didn't they? So, Wizmer and Magnemite, nothing really too weird, and probably can, you know, take him out with relative ease. Dang it! <laughs> I don't think they really got too much of a strike. Ah, oh, they got Sonic Boom. That's kind of mean. Speed boost, raise speed. Whoa. Hey, I finally get some damage on the board. Or you could just kill him. You could just kill him, that works too. So anyway, so NVIDIA announced the 4060 Ti, uh, the 4060 Ti 16 gigabytes, and the 4060 uh, Mud Sport. Oh, Mud Sport's a bit of a weird move. Let's just check the stats. It says, cover the user in mud to raise electrical resistance. Now, as a ground type, bit mood, ain't it? I actually forget what it does. I think it does reduce the damage, but it's it is kind of pointless on on a on them. So it's level 25 already as well. That's a that's a bit crazy. I mean, I guess yeah. I should, <laughs> I've only been leveling two bug ones. So we're gonna need to start you know even leveling eventually. But wow, the fury swipe Smith twice. Good thing that's not a move I'm intending to use on him by the end of the game. Reminds me I didn't even have my notes on screen, so there we go. Uh, so anyway, so the 4060 uh, Ti has, um, well, how, how many cores does it have? I guess that's the key thing. Did I write that down? No. But they are, uh, oh here we go, Guru 3D. Also, also, who are you? I know we're onto something wild when we spot you. Oh, please let me explain. We travel around everywhere, interviewing all sorts of trainers. So, would you give us a bit of your time for an interview? Yes. Well, thank you. Okay, I need you to describe your feelings about our battle, but it has to be short and sweet. Uh, okay. Uh, do I have pointless? Uh, pushover. There you go. Good enough. Mm, yeah, that's the perfect clincher. I get the feeling that this will make a great TV show. There's a chance that this will air on TV. <laughs> See? Okay. And look at that, just regular old trainers. I don't know where you're going, but would you like to bounce? Um, I got no choice, though. Uh, so here we go, 4060 Ti, 
Uh, it has 4,352 CUDA cores uh, with a boost clock, which is probably the clock you'll get in games, of 2.5 gigabytes. Um, it's got 8 gigabytes of GDDR6 memory on a 128-bit bus. Now, keep that in mind. That is the super big selling point. Now, a lot of these stat pages don't list um, the cache, and I don't know how much cache is on it, but just like the other um, RTX 4000 GPUs, they are relying a bit more on a larger cache to satisfy the, um, I guess, the, the performance gains, basically, rather than, well, it is weird, because you don't necessarily need to be rather than the memory. The 4090 is the exact, you know, example of that, but anyway, the 4060 is starting to get to that real big point where, hmm, are we compromising too much? Are we starting to go, you know, there's not enough memory traces and not enough bandwidth to actually, you know, push for the performance that we're actually expecting. And I'm at this weird point where I'm like, I don't know, I think the 4060 is too far. You could see it starting to happen on the 4070 and the 4070 Ti. But at least the 4070 Ti, you could go, well, at 1080p, it's like a 3090 Ti. And at, 10, and at 4K, it's a bit more like a 3090. It, but it's still like, you know what, that's a good amount of performance for the power. And inevitably, uh, here in Australia, the price it dropped to. Although, definitely, some people are... Well, I don't know. It depends on your market. Judge it on your market. Um, there's another trainer. I think there's the last trainer on the right as well. I'm full of pep. And my Pokemon is peppy too. Peppy too. Oh my goodness. Travis Scott, Fortnite Burger. That's the only thing I know about Travis Scott. Oh wait, he did Astro. He did Astro World. He's got that one song. That one song. Is it a good song? I'm. I don't know, man. I haven't listened to it enough to really know. It's not for me. Also, just throw a Sancher out there. Oh, okay. But yeah, if you actually wanted to catch a Geodude, uh, these rocks are actually your chance to catch one that's level 20. It could also be level 5. It's <laughs> it's a bit of a range, but, uh, you know, if, if a Pokemon shows out of the rock, which I think might be 10% of the time, it's always Geodude. So, have a crack if you want a one. My jam right here. Uh, but yeah, so the the reduced memory on the 4070 was a bit contentious. And as a 4070 Ti owner, it is a little. Mm, I do wish it was better, especially at 4K. But I don't believe the card doesn't do what I want at 4K, so I'm not too upset. The 4060 starts getting into a bit of a weird territory for me because, and the 4060 Ti especially. Um, most importantly, the price. Uh, in the US, the 4060 Ti will launch um, this week, I think actually Wednesday, um, at, uh, which was Wednesday the 24th of May for posterity, uh, at 399 US dollars. This converts an Australian to 729 dollars. But I do want to prefix by saying, CCPU here in Australia is selling it for 690. We've already had a price cut. It's not even out yet. So, listen, in Australia you can go for it. I would highly say the price, you know, com competition is going to just completely be there in Australia because it was there on all the previous cards. So, me saying that price means nothing here. In the US, for some reason, the prices are there. Uh, so, I guess, you know, sure, okay. Um... So $399 US dollars, that puts it at uh, half of the 4070 Ti, 66% um, of the, the um, 4070, uh, a third of the 4080, and it, uh, at 729 it's not a third of the 40, it's like 40% here in Australia, it's, it's yeah. Um, but very importantly, how does it perform? Well, there exists a video cards article, um, which uh, leaked a couple of 3D mark benchmark scores of the uh, the uh, 3060, or sorry, the 4060 Ti, and this is placed against uh, in competition to the. Uh, oh, uh, I thought I lost all my tabs. Yeah, this is placed against to the 3060 Ti, which, for reference, in the in their article, they only that that's a uh, the 3060 Ti non. 
there's a GDDR6 version, which is what it launched with. But there's also a GDDR6X version out there. Here in Australia, you can actually find the 6X version for the same price as the GDDR6 version. And I would highly recommend, if you were going to get that card, just get the 6X version for the same price. Maybe if it's like 5% more, it's still worth it, but after that, okay, maybe not as much. But still, it's like, you know, at 550 bucks, I'd say consider it even up to 570, 580. After that, no, okay. Uh, but the X uh, memory, the GDDR6X version, you know, in some tests, it's actually about 5% better, and it does scale to 4K better. So it's actually pretty neat, but um, yeah, Video Cards has this 4060 Ti next to the 3060 Ti, the, the slower one, and kind of scarily, they, they'll put the um, the Fire Strike, the Fire Strike Extreme, and Fire Strike Ultra test from 3D Mark on this. Uh, Fire Strike, uh, the the regular Extreme and Ultra versions respectively run at 1080p, 1440p, and 4K. It's a decent guideline to some very rough, like you know, performance numbers at various resolutions. As it starts getting into 4K. The 4060 Ti, the card that is just about to come out, starts doing worse and worse. And at the very top, it is like the last gen card is 98% of the score. Uh, at the bottom, at the 1080p, it's 86%. That's a decent game. That's a decent game. I accept that, uh, given that it ends up at the same price. It's it's not on day one. I just wanted to add that one. But uh, yeah, when it gets there, it'll get there. It's sure. Um, I just want to add as well, uh, just back to Pokemon, uh, this route has Numble, or Numble? I like calling him Numble. Numble, Numble, Numble. So, if you want a fire type, now's your opportunity. It's fire ground, it's between levels 14 and 16, and you got a three quarters chance of getting them. Uh, you got a one quarter chance of getting a Machop. So, uh, feel free to send your water type out, because we be fighting lots of hikers now. <laughs> hikers are built differently, I'll tell you that, so. Uh, Back to the, the specs, um, yeah, like, you know, it's a decent gain at 1080p, but as you get to 4K, which more and more, I'm starting to feel like, you know, and people will say, oh, but it's not a 4K card. It should be. All cards should be 4K cards, but with reduced, you know, settings. I feel like that's the case. We're at this point now where the resolution you're running shouldn't really be the big determination as to like how good a game actually looks. It should just be the settings underneath. If I just want to run a game at 4K, I should just be able to run the game at 4K now. I know I'm grossly oversimplifying it, but you know, we've had 4K cards for a while and to this point where, okay, well the 1080 Ti or even the 980 Ti back in 2014 was a 4K card, or 2015 I think, was a 4K card. Why are we apparently still saying you need to get the 80 branded card to play at 4K? Uh, I guess the games are better, sure, but like, you know, just adjust for the same visual fidelity. So, to that I would then, yeah, I would say, this card does not look as good at 4K, and to the point, on video cards, they had, off the website, they had the slower 3060 Ti be 98% of the performance uh, of the... 4060 Ti, the GDDR6X version is 2.5% better than the card that's about to come out. And at that point I go, this card doesn't serve a purpose until it becomes cheaper and the de facto card. Until then, that is a big red flag to me, and that was something I was very concerned about this whole time over the rumor mill, about how it's got the 128-bit bus, and that's a lot slower than the... I think it's... Is it 192-bit on the... the... 3060 Ti? Or is it 256? I think it's 256, actually. Yeah, I think it is 256. That's not very good. That's not that's not a good thing at all. I don't like it when cards regress in performance. See the 6500 XT as well as my other examples are. None of the other tests, including um, Time Spy Ultra, um, were behind, but definitely when you can see it at 4K, it's, it doesn't look as good. Um, now, 
the big thing I want to add is, okay, well, what about the 16 gigabyte? Now, the 16 gigabyte model, uh, also, oh, actually, <laughs> just to interrupt, we're in a fiery path now, uh, because there's a bunch of dudes blocking the way. I feel like I just failed to mention that. Uh, but there's a bunch of dudes blocking the way, um, and so we gotta go to the fiery path. The fiery path does not have any new trainers, actually. It's purely just a bunch of Pokemon. Uh, in particular, we have, um, a little bit of version exclusive prioritization. So we still got Numel, Numel. Uh, 30% chance this time, so a bit harder to find, but, you know, same level, so, okay. Uh, 25% chance of coughing if you're playing Ruby, otherwise it's 2%. Uh, and the alternative is Grimer, where it's 25% in Sapphire, 2% in Ruby. Um, you're also able to find Torkoal, which has an 18% chance, another fire type. Machop, 15%, and Slugma, 10%. It is at this point, I can, say, I can finally say, I'm catching that next one. And I'm hoping, I'm hoping that Premier Ball works. It's gonna be a tricky one for me because I'm a bit. Eh, they're not too bad. It's not a long cave, actually. It just kind of like it happens. But this gets you all the way to the other side of the, the mountain, basically. Oh, there it is. 10% chance Slugma. Here we go. Slugma's always level 15, so. Um. Oh, what do, I, what do I throw in there? I think I'm gonna go in with Nonogram. He might get burnt. Oh, he's trying to get me with the smog here. We're gonna get him with the Fury Cutage. It shouldn't do much damage, but I should be able to control it as well by using, like, um, Sand Attack to just kind of, like, un uncombo myself. Mm. Well, I guess he's uncomboed me for myself, hasn't he? Hmm. Well... Oh! Uh, wait. Hold on. Because that poisons me. But he's... Oh, no, it doesn't. Oh, no. Well, I guess it did now. So what happens to the yawn? Am I asleep? I'm hurt by the poison. I'm not asleep. He has unslept me. Thank you, Slugma. Oh, he's got rock dark. Yeah. But it's this versatility that's kind of, you know, allured me to Slugma. Um... I feel like Slugma would be a fun pick on the party because, uh, it's kind of bulky. It'd just be a fun one. We'll see how we go. I've also never really ran this game with a fire type. So, alright, well, there goes Nonogram, but I think I got a little bit of an opportunity to sneak in a hit with Brushy. Uh, look at that, Rock Smash. Look at that, I've got a weak move that I can use. It's a bit too weak. It's defense fell though, so... How'd I get burned? So I guess that evens out, doesn't it? I'm burned, but it's defense fell. Whoa. Whoa. Once more. Ah, uh, okay. I'm feeling, I'm feeling that amount of health. I'm feeling that'll be good. Uh, I think he can throw rocks at Shedinja, so he's not safe. Uh, okay, to the five Premier Balls I have. I used to always mash A to, like, make sure it catches, but we know it doesn't do anything. Hey, that was good. Oh gosh, what do you call him now? Listen, I don't play in the names, I play in the Pokemon, so... Slugman does not have any blood in its body. Instead, intensely hot magma circulates throughout this Pokemon's body, carrying essential nutrients and oxygen to its organs. Where are its organs, then? I guess it's got eyes. Probably a brain. Look <laughs> at little picture. He's like, Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> there you go. Slugma. What are we gonna call him? What are we gonna call him? Um... What do I call him? I'm going to call him... Sedimenta? I'll just go for that. I ran out of letters. Sedimenta. Sedimenta. What a cool name. 
There you go. So that was uh, a Pokemon I wanted to catch. I might be able to... Is it the 2%? No. That is... No, it's the 25 <laughs> I might be able to catch another one on the way. Um, on the stream. We'll see how we go. And there's Torkoal. Torkoal's the, the third gen Pokemon that people like. Um, for reference as well, I as a bit of a spoiler, but... Um, Slugmo is probably going to be the only non-Gen 3 I have on my team. Similar to how I had Growlithe on the last uh, game. That was the only like non-Gen 2 I had. Oh, he's really, he's really pumped. So, uh, but yeah, no. So, okay, 4060 Ti. While I go on heal. 4060 Ti, it comes in a 16 uh, gigabyte variant. That will come out in a couple of months. They say July. When, when in July, I don't know. But that's, that is a little bit away. Um, so set your expectations. Um, this 4060 Ti is unlike the you know <laughs> the previous you know two two products with the same name but different you know memory configuration. It's not like the 4080 what that was gonna be. This is um, I think the best example would be like the Intel Arc A770 recently. It is the exact same card. They just put double the memory chips in and then they mapped the traces to the chips evenly. So there's still the same number of traces, the same amount of memory bandwidth, there's just more chips and more capacity to work with then. That would mean, like the Intel Arc A770, and I guess all the, you know, AMD GPUs that had two, like, memory config variants, where it basically just doubles the memory size, um, just like those, this will not change the performance in any way. These cards are basically gonna be virtually identical, it's just for the VRAM. To which I would go, okay, what's the price? They are starting at 500 or 499 USD, uh, or 910 Australian dollars. Now to that I go, pfft, no. Like, at least with the, the 4060 Ti's high price, I kind of was like, you know, it's high. It's very high. But at least, you know, I could see it coming down and sitting in a nice spot in the market. But this card, that performs the same until the 4060 Ti with its 8 gigabytes isn't. You know, depends on the game. Um, and I'll get into that in a bit as well. Uh, but it performs the same, but costs 100 US dollars more, or in here, actually $179 more. That's a lot of money. That's not even an exchange rate. Why is, why is like 100 US dollars converting to 179? Is that actually how bad our currency is? It should be like 150 and then throw tax on, but no. Yeah, no, it should be 150. Maybe 160. 180 seems crazy. You know, this cave seems longer when you have to just, you know, fight Pokemon. <laughs> And we're out on the other side, so... <laughs> we got some berries. Uh, this is still Route 112, by the way, so, uh... You know, same same Pokémon with the Numals and the Machops, but look at all these berries! Uh, but yeah, so... I'm super on the fence, because on the one hand, I actually don't hate the idea of there being an option, and I want to make this very clear. I don't hate there being an option for... Oh, it looks like we're at the top. Also, Brushy has an item. What's he got? Oh, no. Interesting. Okay. Um... And we're back on Route 111. The reason why you couldn't go this way is because when you get to the desert... Ugh, the sandstorm! There's even music playing. That's how you know it's serious. I think, can you actually walk... You can go up here. I remember going in there, like, super early. Um, yeah. Show me how much you toughen your Pokemon. Ah, uh, okay. This is a kind of long route. Like, it's a real long stretch until the next, uh, stuff. So, you want Smog, Amber, and Rock Throw. Very interesting moves. Because, uh, just bonus points as well. Like, Ember is an okay attack. It's fairly okay. It's like Tackle, but Fire. Rock Throw. Same deal, a little more damage. Um, I expect Magkarko... Also, what is his nature? Careful. Uh, do I have... 
Do I have major assault on the ready? This is actually a curious one, but yeah, Slugma Flame Body is nice because anytime anyone hits you with a physical attack, they're burned. And that also means your phys the physical attacks deal less damage because they're burned. It's a very nice thing. Um, he has, yeah, careful. Careful is increased special defense, lowest special attack. Interesting. Rather interesting. Slugma's got decent special attack, though. That's, um, or rather is Evolution Mech Cargo. I think that's going to be, like, the big catch, um, having lower of that. But increased special defense makes him a lot better as a mixed wall than he potentially could have been. Um, kind of weird that his defense is not as high right now. I think that's just Slugma. Um, yeah, curious, curious. Uh, so I guess I'll just spam Ember. Or I'd be, I'd be paralyzed. That's a good hit. No! What? I was doing so well. Oh, never mind. Never mind. It's not worth it now. It's not worth it with the Whelmer. I'm not expecting them to switch out Pokemon on me. Jeez. Eh. Let's go with the swipes. And that takes his time. Oh no, he's got the strongest attack in the game. So, okay. So anyway, I don't hate the idea of there being a card with more VRAM because there are going to be people out there when they say eight gigabytes is not enough. I will safely say, if you think that you, you know, you need more memory and there will be situations where you do need more memory and hundred percent, if you want to play a game, and burn more memory, feel free to, like, you know, buy the card with more VRAM. Um, to the people who say 8 gigs is not enough in games, I very, very question, you know, how many games, and really, because a lot of people, and some people would say, oh, even at 1080p, the amount of VRAM you use by moving to 4K is purely like, you know, your screen buffers, um, sensor buffers, uh, you know, whoa, is he gonna hit or is he just gonna, oh, maybe, it's not gonna do it, nah, nah, I wanted to get experience, but it's not like that, um, so, like, you know, there's gonna, oh, <laughs> I got super potion, um, there's going to be, you know, like, things that do increase the, at 4k, but right now, the underlying, you know, like, uh, game assets, textures, models, uh, you know, shadows just on the fly, uh, which is irrelevant to the actual screen resolution, by the way. It, it, there's a point where you don't see it at a higher resolution. Hi there, Mr. Crip. I am ranting about a graphics card. Uh, particularly just the, the people who talk about the, 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 well, the 4060 Ti got announced, um, a couple of days ago, so... But yeah, don't let people like upsell you into thinking that you need not only a set, uh, more than eight gigabytes, but sixteen gigabytes. I feel like you know I, it makes sense that that's what Nvidia is offering. I don't believe it is worth worthwhile, especially given how the card probably performs. Um, definitely not for that price. If I don't throw the one where it's like the amount, no, it's just just the amount of damage. Um. Also, I caught a new Pokemon, but he's on 3 health and paralyzed. I don't know, why am I using Fury Cutter? Um, 256 gigs of RAM. Hopefully it'll be enough for Minecraft server with 10 people. There's actually... Oh, real talk. I actually saw a deal. Um, I think it's on Amazon. Because um, different Amazon, like, countries start competing really hard. Um, and you can get, like, four 32 gig sticks of RAM... Um, DDR4, but it's still 3200, it's like, and it's RGB, of course, uh, for 360-something Australian? Which is like, that's a pretty good price, like, Civil War. <laughs> it's a, yeah, it's a, that's a pretty good price for 128 gigs of RAM. I would definitely say, uh, not what you actually need 128 gigs of RAM for, like, but yeah, 256, it's a lot. I don't think a lot of... I don't think any consumer motherboards support more than 192 right now. Um, and that's a fun, uh, just a BIOS update on a bunch of DDR5-based boards that now enables just 192 gigs of RAM. They advertise 128, 
War for money? we never seen this before. <laughs> oh! Here's a brand new feature! Here's a brand new feature! What's that? What am I doing? I'm thinking about making my own room here using a Pokemon move. I know, I'll give you this TM. Will you use it to make your own room? This TM is special! This is a brand new thing in the game. Uh, find a big tree that looks like it might drop some vines. Use secret power in front of the tree. Some vines should get free and drop down so you can climb the tree. You'll find a lot of space for putting your favorite things. It'll be your own secret room. A secret base! You should make one too. Another thing, you don't always have to love- Oh, sorry, have to make your secret base in a tree. Try using secret power in, on rock walls that have small in indents in them. We're gonna look for other places too. Okay, bye. This is a brand new mechanic in the game. I'm actually curious where you get uh, more TM43s, because this obviously seems too good. And the answer is... Playport City. You can buy these. Okay. Uh, but yeah, he gives you secret power. Now, secret power uh, as an attack seems to just constantly be casting swift. Um, just depends on where you are. Um, I'm going to teach on... Carrot. Because I'm not going to be using Carrot forever, so I just want to show it off. But yeah... So I want to show off this mechanic. So now, when you go up to a tree and you go to the guy with secret power, you secret power? You can now cut open. Oh, thanks, Atomic. Thank you very much. I'm old. You can now make this area your secret base. And you bring a laptop all of a sudden. And what you can do with your secret base is that you can actually buy decorations, which we've just got a Mudkip doll, because that's what I got. And you fly around the map that's kind of weird thing, but you can... You can't put them there, but you can, Oh. Oh, because you can't put them on the ground. you got to put, like, a table for the Mudkip doll. So I've got the saddest base right here. But, uh, yeah. What you can do here is, you know, you set up a little room and you decorate it. E3. Thank you, Mr. Crip. Thank you. Um... Yeah, you can... You set up your little room full of stuff. And what's really cool is... When you go into, like, a spot, you know, like, that's gonna sit there now, sure. When someone else has mixed records with you, and they come up to you, you will be in your secret base, and they can fight your AI, like, you know, computer, you know, controlled, uh, version of you with your current party. It's a really cool mechanic, and it also shows off your, your base, you know. Hey, you know, it's a base. Uh, you'll be glad to know, there is indeed rest spot right here. The old lady's rest stop. Come in and rest your tired bones. We got this far. Finally. A bit of healing. Oh no, I'm not on the TV, is it? Hi, today I'm visiting an area in a level. We're trying to spot some up and coming new talent in the field. Today we turn our lens on the trainer. B now, there's something about this trainer that piques our interest. The best way to determine how strong a trainer is, well, the fastest way is the battle. And so we began our investigation. That's how we ended up in battle with B now. In a dominating performance, we were flattened, rolled up, and tossed aside. B now is ruthless and strong. We also trained for a succinct submission of the battle we shared. The combination of Marsh Top and Ninja is with Divine. The sight of them, Marsh Top and Ninja, selflessly supporting each other in the thick of battle. It was a marvelous sight to behold. Water Gump was the Water Gump was the move the trainer used last night. The move Water Gump is Marsh Top and Ninja sign of friendship. That is gross. After our battle, we asked Bando for a succinct summary. The trainer replied, "Push over." Bando is Pokemon Marsh Top and Ninja, and push over. Mm, that's deep. There's deep significance behind that quote. It's no surprise a good trainer has good things to say. That's all for today. See you again. That's pretty much all, guys. Underground warfare for use this way. Uh. Oh, that's that's Diamond Pearl that has the flag capturing. Um, this one's pretty straightforward, where it's just like you can just fight another person, um, and also set up uh, songs. There's actually there's a retro achievement for actually setting up a very specific song. I think it's actually like the Mario thing, like, doo -doo 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 -doo, like something like that. I think so, or it's a, uh, or it's like a city song. So I mean. <laughs> I said uh, uh, while you read TV that I was talking about Gen 4. Oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah, true. I, it is better in Gen 4. It is... It is better better in, in Gen 4. The only thing with Gen 4, though, is that, like, you have to actively be there to do the capture of the flag. Um, and it's not something you can, like, passively be playing the game. It's like, you've got to be in the underground, you're waiting for your mates to get in the underground, and then you know exactly what they're going to be doing. War never changes exactly, yeah. 
Hi there, person. Oh, well, my parents lost a lot. A whole bunch of flowers for me, and then a whole bunch of berries appeared. There you go. Raz. She gave me the Raz. Some red Pokebox. Okay, sure. Couple more trainers. Serious actors? Okay. So, yeah. So don't, don't let people tell you, like, upsell you into getting a 16 gigabyte card when, you, one, you don't need it, and two, you don't necessarily gain anything until you hit the VRAM scenario. But that means, with this card not being that great at 4K anyways, control your settings. Don't play games at 1080p Ultra these days, at least new games. Play games that are a little bit older, just see how the performance goes. Imagine spending a whole weekend with young homies running in the dungeon. I remember we, I used to do that, like, um... Uh... When I finished high school, sorry, when I finished primary school, and we were kind of like doing stuff in high school, so like 2009. Like that, that was like, we're running on the ground. And then Black and White came out, and we were like kind of just playing Black and White a bunch. This person's got Numo! Or Numo! Which one is it? I don't know. <laughs> um. So, yeah, yeah. Uh. But I'm not very... I, I don't know. I, I wouldn't buy these cards at, at day one. At least compare with your market, but also compare with the 3060 Ti. Or even better, in Australia here, compare with a um, RX 6700. That seems to be the value card at that price point. Or an A770. Or an A750. Maybe an A770. You're, you're going a bit too far down with an A750. But there's a lot of good cards to get. You don't have to get the brand new one that's coming out. They also announced a 4060. The 4060 is coming out at 299 US dollars. Uh, they have the specs. It's a bit of a drop, so it's probably still going to be another 10, 15, maybe 20, who knows, percentage improvement over the uh, 3060. But the 3060 is a weaker card, like actually weaker. The 3060 Ti, I think, is a fairly good card. And so that's why the newer one doesn't seem like it's as big an improvement. <laughs> until it's actually not an improvement and an aggression. Okay, sure. I don't think the 4060 will have that same problem, but it's definitely something to watch out for. Um, but the 299 price point is a bit interesting because that is actually under the price point of the 3060 um, when it came out. Uh, of course, yeah, in America, the MSRP seems to be the price. In Australia, it's not the price. It doesn't really matter. Um, Bro, I would love this ch childhood experience with Pokemon, but I never had Nintendo before 2016 and 2017, and even then, it was the Nintendo Wii because my father misread what I wrote for it, not Wii. To be honest, though, I think that's probably what happened to a lot of people who wanted a Wii U. Like, you're probably not the only one. Um, and, like, it's always interesting, because to me, it's like, you know, like, it's one letter, and it sounds very, like, you know, Wii U. <laughs> But like, legit, they tried their best. They made the console black by default, but then they also had a cheaper white model that no one bought. No one bought the white one. I thought there was another person on this route. Okay, anyway, welcome to uh, Dusty Land, Route 113. Uh, you may notice the grass turns green when you stand in it. That is a fun feature. Uh, this route has Spinder. There's a 70% chance a Spinder appears. Spinder is a real silly Pokemon because people had lots of funny ideas but basically Spinda has four dots four circles that appear on its sprite those four circles the positions are all random there is a random X and Y position for these circles uh, I think it's actually based on the personality value so it doesn't like appear out of nowhere it's or like it's not like an extra value that just exists for for uh, this the Spinda it's used for some things about it as well, like uh, it might determine its uh, nature or its um, underlying. Yeah, it's under it's underlying uh, EVs. IVs, sorry. They look almost the same. You really think parents would pay attention to you and they? Yeah. Oh, exactly. Yeah. Also, the Wii was crazy popular, like, and you know, the Wii U plays Wii games. It, it doesn't help. Also, they never, they really didn't show a lot of Wii U gameplay without showing that you can play multiplayer with the Wii remotes. And then, also, 
the Wii U gamepad never played with other Wii U gamepads. They kept talking about it, but it never happened. So, um, it kind of was like, yeah, like, it did, you know, you couldn't escape the Wii remotes on that. You couldn't escape anything on the Wii with the Wii U. So, that being said, what Pokemon experiences were there on the Wii U? I only played a little bit of Mario Kart Wii and single player. These are my brothers being on this console. They're peak games, though. People think unfavorably on New Super Mario Bros. Wii just because, uh... You know, there's a bunch of New Super Mario Bros. See, look, the dots are different now! Do the dots mean anything? No, not really. You could, you could tell what the what the IVs on the Pokemon are. Look at this little dwarf. It's fun walking through the volcano's ashes on the ground of grass. You can see what you want, it's really neat! And there's trainers, wow! Is there actually, has someone written down the actual thing? Yeah, this would mean that there is indeed a 1 in 4 billion chance of getting the exact same spindler. So, very hard to, to get the exact same one. Um, two dots have 256 locations, one dot is 254, and one dot is 237. Uh, counting the uh, all locations where the dot is entirely off sprite as the same, this results in 3 billion patents as opposed to 4 billion. 3.9 billion, it's not even that far off, so. And one guy who collects the patents. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, uh, patterns. Uh, however, this, even this total is slightly too high because the upper left dot is uh, far enough down to the right it can entirely eclipse the lower left dot, resulting in a few more patterns being indistinguishable. Uh, the fewer spots a spinner can obviously have is one. Uh, they're not going to count this as well. Also, uh, in Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl, as in the brand new Diamond Pearl remakes that came out two years ago? It was 2021, wasn't it? Did it go? Uh, they misinterpreted the value as a pig Indian, which causes the spinder spot to be ran- to- not random, but to be in the wrong direction, basically. It, it interprets the bytes wrong, or the bits wrong. So, nice. Good job. Good job. So, that's fine. Using Fury Cutter, but I don't know, man. Fury Cutter doesn't doesn't really cut it for me sometimes. Uh, welcome to the rice field. Are we in the rice field? I don't think this is rice, bro. <laughs> so yeah, uh, this route is also home to everyone's home favorite. That's why. Uh, that's why. Oh my gosh. Ugh, I'm getting cancelled. Uh, that's right. It's a 25% chance for a Sandra. Uh, you may be thinking, well, there was 70% and 25%. What's the 5%? Uh, well. You can also get Skarmory. People like Skarmory. Oh, I got Otis Sleuthed. Uh, Skarmory, in my opinion, is a very good and somewhat overused Pokemon. Everyone loves Skarmory. I I also do like Skarmory, but... Uh, yeah. The Gen 2, a lot of people forget that he's a Gen 2 Pokemon. When someone talks about Gen A, I always joke about the rice field. Which one was the rice field in Gen A? I think I recall it, but I, I just can't remember off the top of my head, so... Let's just run back and heal after one battle. But I am, I am trying to throw Slugma into it. Um, oh gosh, yeah, what, what level does Slugma evolve? It's like 20... Oh god, it's 38. No! No, I didn't plan for that one. That's gonna be a lot of Slugma time. That's not even the latest evolution as well. I've got, so... Uh, we'll see how this goes. I think you get the experience shared. Not too far away, though. But man, it is a bit of a trek, isn't it? To get to the next route after that. So, uh, spenders probably... I don't think they give too much experience, do they? So, yeah, man, might as well just kind of run. I don't know my Pokemon by the base experience here, but yeah, the dots appearing in fun places is kind of neat. And yes, you can indeed uh, have rude uh, phallic objects on top of the spender's face. That is very possible. I just cannot escape. 
At some point, I'm just gonna be like, eh, stop these sediments, or I'm moving on to the next place. There's like, I think there's like six trainers here as well, so... It's gonna be a bit of a trek. And you got invisible people on the ground like that. I'll come back for them. I, I, I wanna push on, I wanna get to the next place, so... Um, so yeah. 4060, seems okay. Uh, there's also an RX 7600, which... Has, honestly, has the same opinion. I, I, like, it doesn't look like it's a groundbreaking card, and some of the rumors were trying to make it sound like it was going to be groundbreaking when it's not. There was a lady Madeline. I would have expected this to be a sandstorm, but I guess not, because there's another area that is a sandstorm, so... Might as well just fight the new world, you know, old school. Yeah, so we start seeing a bunch of, like, level 20s in here. Like, man, you know, Marsh Top is level 27, he's he's pushing way too far. Because he only evolves at level 32, so... Both of us, we collect the ashes, we build Pokemon too! Wake up and smell the ashes. <laughs> His face is like Pokemon fun who still play the series from Gen 1 to 3. Oh, it's, 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 it's a classic. Uh... I'm gonna stick with the Ember, and we shall double team. Just in case they attack Monogram, I don't know why. I have a feeling they will. Well, they didn't attack Monogram. They did not attack Monogram. <laughs> that worked well. To the Kipperoni. <laughs> it's like Bidoof. Bidoof is great. There's a lot of, like, just fun, iconic Pokemon like that, though. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, so, I don't know too much more about the AMD GPU, but I know internally they've been trying to go for, like, the chiplets approach for their graphics cards, for the RDNA 3 ones. Um, and the 7600 is... They're jumping all the way down to the 7600, uh, because it's the only, like... It's, it's not a chiplet one, it's actually just a monolithic die. It's small enough that it's like, well, it's one chiplet, so... It's not a different architecture in any way, it's just so stripped down that it's... You know, it's like that. Um, that's fine. Um, but yeah, it's definitely a raw, like, this is what the architecture actually improves upon, as opposed to, we can throw more into it. My bag is full! Oh, that's a good, that's a good sign. Man, that bag filled up quick, didn't it? Uh, okay, I'm giving, I'm giving Sableye the other side. He'll never be able to evolve now. Trubbish experience. Oh, true, yeah. I'll never get over Vanillux. Vanillux, ugh. <laughs> Good old Vanillux. Look at that dot in his mouth. Well, I guess Nonogram can definitely run away from things, can't he? So check this out. I've got a house here. It's fun to blow a glass flute while my boss is talking. Huff, 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 buff. You're too hot, just eat your Pokemon. Oh my gosh, yeah. <laughs> this area is covered in volcanic ash. Huff, huff. I'm especially gifted, huff, puff. I make glass out of volcanic ash and make items, huff, puff. Gosh, he's gonna puff, puff me. Oh no. So the soot sack is kind of interesting because every step through the, the grass with, you know, that turn, that changes color, basically puts one step into the sack. And he keeps telling you, you know, oh, well, come back when you got stuff. Okay. <laughs> I did it. And what he does, is he collects the ashes? Let me see. That's not enough ash here. I can make glass with this. 249 is the number of steps you'll need to walk for me to make you a blue flute. Um, so I believe, let me see if I can get the list of things open. Uh, Volcanic Ash as a mechanic. Basically, uh... I don't know if he, like... I don't know if he offers it in order or something like that, but basically, as you get more steps, he'll, you know, he'll give you this blue flute for 250 steps. And the blue flute is, like, you know, an item that just, like, wakes up a sleeping Pokemon. Does it, does it disappear after you wake up a sleeping Pokemon? I'm not too sure. You can get a red flute, which, uh, is apparently, is, a, is that a cell, uh, 
Oh, that's an infatuation break. The yellow flute is a confusion break. The black flute is, uh, when using the field, reduces wild Pokemon and counter it by 50%. Interesting. Uh, and a white flute, which uh, increases the wild Pokemon encounter rate. Interesting. Uh, enough steps as well, he'll also make you a table. And a chair. Which is fun. And I'm hearing Wismas. There you go. So it's a fun mechanic. Uh, the only downside is, you gotta keep walking through this grass. Uh, it's not too bad, I guess, if you use, um, and you gotta get the grass to respawn. Uh, like a glass table, I guess. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Dude, this Ninkada is just like... He's stuffed. He's so stuffed, bro. Ah, he can still leech life me. So yeah, I don't know, I think that's it for the graphics cards discussion. But tangentially, I mentioned, uh, you know, the 8 gigabytes thing depends if the game needs 8 gigabytes. And even then, a lot of games nowadays, even the newer ones, don't really need 8 gigabytes. They just have to have 8 gigabytes. Sorry, how do I phrase that? That's not right. They need 8 gigabytes. They don't work when you don't have 8 gigabytes. But they also, like, they shouldn't need 8 gigabytes. Because they don't look better than the games that haven't been needing that much memory at all. There's something wrong with some of these games. They come down in a super runoff to my state. Uh, there was a recent Digital Foundry video. Uh, this is what happened to Ash after the anime, poor guy. <laughs> he did beat the, you know, he became champion eventually though. You know, before his 11th birthday. Dude, it's gonna be so weird if, like... Well, I, guess, I guess they are done with Ash, like, he's hard done now, isn't he? He ain't coming back. Or maybe if he does, it's just like, oh look, it's Ash again. Just for a moment. And it's kind of interesting that, like, they properly ended the Ash era of Pokemon. Like, like, uh, I finally, oh, exactly. He went on plenty of holidays, it's fine. <laughs> After 30 years. Gosh, it's been that long, hasn't it? Come on, big Fury Cutter. Yeah! <laughs> I love Fury Cutter when it works out. So good. It's already over? Look at that, there's a TM chilling there. I think this one's double team. Which, I don't think I put double team on two Pokemon. Nah, nah. I, I'm winging double team, double team on Ninjas. Please don't be Scar Murray, I don't want to see him. Uh, the volcanic eruption, it's proof that the Earth is alive. Ah. Uh, that, that is, that is some found logic right there. Oh my gosh, it's got Aaron. Aaron, Aaron. I keep thinking this thing is ground type as well. Is that gonna wreck me? Mm. That will wreck me. That will wreck me. Let's let's play safe. Let's switch to, let's switch to the kit. Oh, he's headbutt too. Oh. So, uh, so I would like to mention one of the six games that is highly cited around as the hardware unboxed games that don't run on new, you know, on <laughs> like mildly older graphics cards, as in. Not the ones that came out six months ago. Uh, one of those games was The Last of Us Remake. Um, the Last of Us Part 1. Um, it ran like trash. And in particular, it didn't look good while it was running like trash. So obviously, you know, the graphics cards suck. And you need a good graphics card in order to run this game. Even though, play the game on medium and you will see... That something's going going on. Hello, you are. Oh, I can see your name's being down. You, you, why, where? I can see that you're a trainer because I got balls. I think. So that means you use the Pokemon Sword system I developed. Now I arrived at that conclusion. It's a simple deductive process. You spoke to me because you wanted to access something on this PC. My bank account. My my rent is due. I need to pay my rent. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm Lynette. Honestly, I'm glad to meet you. It's great that you're using the storage system. If you could please visit me at home. My house is on Route 114. Do you just uses like a generic sprite? Um, Pokemon Sprite to Charter was anime and the XY series on the X2X channel. Damn, I have not Googled it. 
Uh, that Pokemon is another video game series. 4,000 and I have to play this game for- Oh, true, yeah. We need that RTX. So I'm gonna put, a uh, Shedinja away. I just don't feel like I need it anymore. Sap <laughs> that free spot, you know. Uh, the fields of Falaba, we plant seedlings of hardy trees that thrive even in volcanic ash. Okay, sure, I guess. I wonder what Pokemon look like long time ago. Maybe the Fossman. Hmm, I won't. <laughs> Glad they tackle that one later. What's up? I'm so shady fellow scuttling in and out of Professor Cosmo's lab. Okay. Uh, I missed one trainer. I'm going back for him. Just because someone's going to yell at me. They're like, oh, I missed a trainer. We got some soot while I'm at it. 250 sounds like pretty reasonable, but why not I tell you it's 8,000 for the table? It's That's a, that is a slog. Maybe I should just get a level at this point. Fine, got the level. Um, so yeah, so The Last of Us Part 1, in particular, it didn't look good. It looked real atrocious. Very muddy textures, very low quality models. Uh, there's something going wrong with that. And especially, the amount of memory it was trying to allocate, real insane. Oh, oh, I just want to also add, NVIDIA released a blog post um, about... Uh, you know, like, you know, architecture of cards, why cache is important, um, and why, like, oh, you know, why are we only having this much VRAM on the cards? Well, that's just kind of what we designed. Uh, for the most part, that article is legit, and anyone who says, like, otherwise, I, I don't want to say this is, like, damage control, but, like, legit, like, I think that article is fairly sound because it talks about cache, which is important until the cache can't store things, basically. But I think it is kind of important to know that, like, yeah, these cards, not just the, you know, lower memory equals bad. I don't think it's great to have a lower memory, but I do think that it's like, you know, if we're, if we're accepting a card that has trade-offs, getting the better performance at the end of the day is an okay trade-off unless that, you know, that specific thing you were needing isn't on the newer cards. Uh, to me, that is, I wanted more memory on my cards because I wanted to do, like, you know, AI training and stuff. Meanwhile, Windows XP refused to die. The only reason why Windows XP is, like, you know, not used anymore is purely because, uh, the, uh... Oh my gosh, I am poisoned. It's purely because the, um, you know, like, Microsoft just ended support and people gradually dropped, you know, people did want newer features as well, but it's not that, like, Windows XP is like slow bad buggy it's not really any of that uh it's just you know like if you want to write something in uh what's an example i say i'll just say uwp i don't think people actually do write things in uwp these days um but just stuff like that it's like yeah i mean you know there's newer technologies that's like sure okay you need to tap into a new operating system um you know library there 1% of PC users still use it. Woo! 1%. That's still... That's a good number, given that, like, Windows 7 and 8, definitely on the download. Windows 10, still popular, but it's like, Windows 7 is, like, just about to, like, push out of, you know, support now. Kind of crazy, because I don't think Windows 11 is really ready yet. I still think Windows, Windows 11 has some quirks here and there, but... This guy has a couple of coughings. I just want to add that. Uh, so, yeah, I think that blog post is pretty alright. I've read some online comments of people very misinterpreting and or just ignoring. No. There was no misinterpretation. They all ignored the article, and they just said, 8 gigabytes is not enough, which is, like, explicitly called out. And they said, you know, the, the obvious things of, just because your operating system says this much memory is allocated doesn't mean it's being used in that way. Uh, you know, uh... They didn't mention in the article, but I also thought uh, different graphics cards, even within the same generation, may have different amounts of memory allocated by the game. It really does depend on the game. You do need to just know how the game works, and we don't really know how the games always work. So just, you know, and, and most importantly in the article, just find other people who have that. Ooh, so it stands, baby! So it stands! Okay, now, here's the thing. Ninjask... 
I have four moves I really want on them. Double Team is one of them. Screech is a neat move, but Sword Stance is the king. I'm going to keep these two attacking moves for now, but I am going to switch it out for a much more appropriate move later on. But Sword Stance is the king, because Sword Stance increases your attack by two stages. Screech reduces their defense by two stages, and it's functionally the same, but Screech can one, miss, and two, disappears when you switch off, you know, when they switch off. Um, sword Stance, of course, disappears when I switch off, but once again, the speed boost, so... I can use a Sword Stance now, just, you know... Oh, it's such a good attack. It's such a good move. I shouldn't say attack, because it doesn't hit them, but... Legit, don't sleep on that two... Two stat, uh, attack increase. Because now you're going to see, you know, the Might of Fury attack when it hits. When it hits. When it hits. We'll get there. We'll get there. There we go. That's a good amount of damage. Too, too bad I only hit twice. This Fury swipes. And I got poison, which means it's going to die on the way back. Cool. Cool story. Yay. Um... So to go back to The Last of Us, uh, they've been doing patches. They've been trying their best to reel in the performance. And in particular, um, one of the patches, uh, at least by 1.0.5, which there's a Digital Foundry video comparing, uh, on the medium graphics setting, at least... Oh yeah, they're both poison. Um, on the medium graphics setting, at least, the game looks way better. The textures are actually the appropriate textures being called at, ten, at, at medium. And at 1080p, it looks pretty good. You can stand still and spot the differences with the high textures, I will definitely say that. But it definitely looks so much better than what it used to. Incredibly, it uses significantly less video memory as well. The allocated, you know, whatever that means, is less than what it used to be by a gigabyte maybe even a gigabyte and a half but isn't that incredible that dang it i was one step away game optimization be like oh yeah D i would definitely say there's something wrong with this game if it you know if all that performance was there if all that capability was there but to that i would say that is a, you know, a large step in the right direction. And very importantly, we can't use it as a prop to say you need 8 gigabytes of VRAM anymore. We have removed this game from the list. It looks better. It kind of runs better. It doesn't, it's, it's a little bit here and there. <laughs> Still. But it looks better and doesn't tank your graphics card anywhere near as hard. Imagine you're playing Nuzlocke now. Oh yeah, that'd be a, that'd be a brutal Nuzlocke thing. Listen, you just bring antidotes wherever you go. Uh, this is the Super Rank registration. So, uh, we visited uh, one concert hall already. Uh, this is the second of the ranks. You see how they display a sketch of a contest winner? I sketched them! If any of your Pokemon wins a contest, I'll gladly make a sketch of it. That's a cool sketch, actually. I'm curious, actually, if there's a picture of all these sketches all around. Yan is brilliant. So, your friend died in hospital, you almost made it. I love making Pokey Box. I always have some berries with me. I would not accept your offer, old man. I'm sorry. <laughs> hey, are you making any Pokey Box? You should come by with a bunch of berries sometime. Oh my gosh. Yeah, the sketch of my Pokemon up on the wall over there. I'm gonna change it with a new one already. I'm gonna add to my Hannah and contest so we can get a sketch up again. Okay, sure. There's not really much to do here, but there is, um, this guy. The Move Judas House. Finally, a. Uh, I think Pokemon Crystal had a sort of mechanic like this, but... So, if you have been picking up Heart Scales, you can teach moves to your Pokemon. This actually teaches any move that the Pokemon can have learned through leveling. Which is an incredible feature and something that they kind of keep bringing back, because they realize people like reteaching moves. They don't like planning this and having to get this move, you know... You know, like, all planned out. Also, hi there. My big is a fossil maniac. He's a nice guy who loves fossils. He loves digging holes, too. He dug this hole by himself. Are you allowed to do this? Does your landlord want you to do this? Last gen with the game casino. True, yeah. Dig's a fun attack, but, uh... You know, right time, right place. This guy, I swear. 
Back to the dungeon! It's not really a dungeon to chill. I'm the fossil maniac. I'm a nice guy who loves fossils. Do you want a fossil? But the fossils around these parts all belong to me. None for you. If you can't go without a fossil, go to the desert on Route 111. From what I've heard, fossils that were buried in the sand sometimes rise to the surface from sandstorms. Okay. I don't think he even, like, gets anywhere by the end of the game. He's just kind of there, so... Hi there. All my Pokemon does is roar. No one dares to come near me. If you would, please take this TM away. Oh man, I wonder what it does. Ta Whoa, it contains roar? I'm gonna be so caught out in this route because there's all these, you know, fishermen. I like to fish, but I also like to battle. If anyone challenges me, I'm there, even if I'm fishing. Okay, sure. So yes, this is like such a long trek all the way around this place as well. We haven't even gotten to the gym. Look at old Barboach though. Everyone likes Barboach. I hate him now. Good thing I'm flying. Jeez, bro. So, yeah, so... I'm still not 100% sure if Last of Us Part 1 is uh... You know, the most optimized game. I feel like there's still a lot of just people brute force GPU throwing at it, but definitely uh, for some updates, you know, we're taking out of this list where we prop it up as the, you know, the, you need more than 8 gigabytes of VRAM. It's like, no, this is the perfect example of you shouldn't need 8 gigabytes of VRAM because these games should be looking way better than they actually do. Uh, I even saw, um, and I know this is my, my, my just, it's like, that's one thing to criticize uh, a, you know, the takes of a several hundred thousand sub YouTube channel. There's another one to criticize a rando on Reddit and video. But this one rando asked if, uh, it's 1440p, and granted high refresh, but still 1440p, um, you know, needs, wanted, uh, should have, oh, sorry, if his needs require either a 4070 Ti or a 4080. And he's, and so many other replies say 4080. And then some of the replies say the 4080 sometimes isn't even capable of doing 1440p 165. And some of them use Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order as the example, which is like every card, including the 4090, can't do that. Like, we can't just say, and it's not, yeah, it's not very good to say, game doesn't run well on this card, isolated standpoint, and I agree with that standpoint. Therefore, the card is bad. No. Like, I, I... There's a lot of armchair, like, engineers on, on Reddit. And to be honest, I'm a little bit of a full HD action player in 480p. There's a lot of... Dude, a lot of console games do that as well. There's still, like, not quite the resolution that the... That they push at. I think a lot of them don't cheese 1080p anymore. But a lot of them don't do 4K either. It's very, very much a stretch. I appreciate getting the Fury Cutter chain going on, by the way. This is kind of gnarly, so... Man! I've gotten very good with Fury Cutter, like, constantly, like, being able to, to go with it. It's like that one meme with the bits from Nerd. Oh, like... 16-bit! 64-bit! 32-bit! 16-bit! 8 bit, 4 bit, 2 bit, 1 bit. <laughs> the rest watch! <laughs> so good. I love it. Imagine being called Nancy. She's got blue hair though. She's got blue Pokemon too. I should be using Sword Sand, that's why. Oh, oh. <laughs> we gotta take this guy out quick. We gotta take this guy out quick. Oh no. Modern game is awesome. You can play games in half a bit. Let's get all half a bit. I don't know what a lot of uh, modern games, like, what their math logic is. I feel like it's still rocking 32 bit in uh, floating points. I don't know if uh, a lot of computation is in 64 bit in the, um, you know. I don't think they rocked that too good a bunch. It's kind of good enough though, isn't it? Uh, this one could be a terrible move, but I, there's not really a better place to use this guy, so...
It is water grass, so it, I mean, sort of on this one. Oh, he's going for absorb, so actually all modern PC starts with 16 bits until you your BIOS pick it up after one second of your PC turning on. Ah, that is true, actually. That is actually true. Um, and that's actually there's a fun um, article that came out recently of uh, Intel toying around with the idea of, or not the idea, but like actually experimenting with processors that only support 64-bit instructions. Um, oh, there's nature power. I wish one was secret power. Someone's gonna be yelling at me. I, I said the wrong power attack, but yeah. So yeah, modern computers still kind of do 16-bit stuff. Um, normal emulation. Um, well, it, it can still support emulation, but it doesn't have like native compatibility layers. As in, there are instructions on well, the the modern x86 AMD 64 instruction set capable processor still runs 32-bit programs in a certain mode basically um, it technically can sort of run 16 bits I think in a uh, in an emulator mode or in a certain state uh, but the point is they're getting rid of that they want to like try and just go 64-bit only um, because that simplifies the architecture down a, a ton um, and hopefully they can use that to turn uh, yes this will this will break things if they can... Well, yeah, I, I think... So for reference, this, the main, you know, uh, consumer of this would be um, servers. So, because servers, they're going to be running specific programs and, to be honest, everything I run on a server is 64-bit. Um, I've not been running anything 32-bit in a long time, and if it's still 32-bit, it's probably because it's an old version. I probably just pull a new one. Um, I, I know of some tools out there that do, you know, have 32-bit versions as well, 64-bit versions natively... Oh, sorry, sorry, like, yeah, native versions still being built. Uh, but I don't think they're gonna just, like, slide that out onto customers. Uh, onto, onto the, um, the, um... The, like the DIY crowd or um, uh, OEM builds. I don't think they're going to do that right away. Um, and I don't think it's going to be that, you know, that uh, quickly either. I think I'll probably just keep, you know, what they're doing right now for still a fair bit. Especially because, uh, and I looked at my computer um, yesterday, but I was like, also, Lanair, what are you doing? You got four computers and you got six computers things end up this way. It's just bookshelves. She gives you a doll, though. That's cool. Do I have Slugma in the... I do have it in the second slot. Let's take on the twins. Who told you about Pokemon? Oh my gosh. Um, she is mining crypto. <laughs> she probably is. Uh, it's research. I'm folding at home. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> it's... Uh, this one's going to be interesting if I can somehow pull this off on Graveler. Let's take out... Also, yes, you can target your teammates. Oh, that was a crit. Oh, okay. Alright, uh, Mega Drain the Fire type. Sure. That is going to be a bit gnarly when that kicks in, but... Oh! Yeah, I gotta watch out for that rollout, although I'm using Fury Cutter, so... It's not really any better. No! Miss. You're gonna go RP with one guy. See you, Mr. Crip. Have a good one. Um. So yeah. Uh, keep an eye out for, for stories. I don't think they're gonna be going to 64 bit only, um, you know, like in a heartbeat. I think it's probably gonna take you know, a while for them to phase it out. But I do believe we're at that point where you, you could. I don't think there's any reason to. Stick with 64. Sorry. Oh, I didn't even mention. Yeah, the two programs I had that are still 32 bit are Discord and Steam, which are kind of interesting. I was like, oh, okay. Oh, no, I got rocks around. Okay, that goes sound like three. Dang it. I'm trying my best to level them up, but. 
this is not the right, like, he should be going up against, like, lots of grass types. And the best I got this is this Roselia, but... You know, he, he, ain't, he ain't doing his best against Roselia here, so... Uh, oh, let's, let's swip, swap over. Let's go back to... I'm gonna water gun the, the, the Graveler and trick out the Roselia. Okay, that goes Roselia. And Kipperoni's level 28. That's he's just getting further and further away. I like how the animations like have to kind of move over a little bit for the double battles as well. So anyway, I thought I didn't even mention this route is a new route. It is Route 114, as uh, this person has said they live. Uh, we've got a couple of new Pokemon here. You saw Swablu earlier. This is Zabiper. There We have a version exclusive uh, kerfuffle in this route, basically. Uh, so Zabiper is a Sapphire exclusive, and actually a Sapphire exclusive. 19% uh, chance to appear, not too bad. Uh, the Ruby equivalent is Zangoose, and a lot of people do really like Zangoose, and unfortunately I get Zabiper. But I also get Lotad, so stuff for you. <laughs> Um, you can actually also catch Lotad and Lombre on this route, 30% uh, chance and 10% chance. Um, Sapphire only still, you get Dot and Nuzleaf in Ruby. Uh, there is a 40% chance of Swablu, a lot of people love evolving that Swablu into Altaria, uh, which becomes a fairly good Dragon type. And the Dragon type this early as well, so very interesting pick, but yeah, a lot of people do like getting it here. Uh, I am not getting it. Uh, I originally also teased, or well not teased, but I originally was feeling the 1% chance for a Surskit here. And then I thought, nah, I don't, I don't think, I don't think it's quite right. So, <laughs> it's 1%, it's, it's a bit too low. Camping's fun, you can fish, roast marshmallows, and tell spooky stories. The best of all are the Pokemon battles. Yes, taking my animals and punching them together. Here we are, Camper Shane! Give him the fury. Yeah. Uh, I feel like I've probably talked about tech a lot on uh, this channel, but um, one thing I guess is that I've never actually engaged with tech, as in, like, I've not shown a video showing, like, hardware stuff. I was mildly tempted when I got my parts to actually do a, like, an overclocking stream. Um, I don't exactly have, like, a reverse capture card stuff, as in, I have a capture card that works over PCIe. Actually, wait, I had a, I had two computers back then, <laughs> never mind. Um, I probably could, I, I, I've got, like, another, like, computer box I could probably move, move around and maybe pop this capture card in, but, um, and the sand attack, it sucks, I hate it. Ban it. Who uses it? Gosh. It's so annoying to not hit anything. Um, but yeah, I've never actually, like, done any, you know, hardware stuff on this channel. Um, it's just been, like, a fun thing I've been interested in. Um, and, you know, I DIY my computer. So, you know, you got, like, a, a, a natural, in, you know, interest in going for it. Here we go. Finally, a grass type. A grass type. I could use rock though. Should probably figure out what, what what things are weak to rock all of a sudden. But still. Man, this guy's setting up. He is setting up for something. So yeah, rock super against bug, fire, flying, and ice. I have not been going up against any of those, really. There were perfect opportunities for me to fight flying types earlier, and now I've not seen any flying types. Clear out of those, apparently. You know what, get some levels. Get some levels on your fork. Ooh. This guy's spooky music every time. Oof, 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 oof. I mean, F you, F you, F you, F you. Want to battle against my Pokemon? No, not really, but sure. And he's gonna send out the most terrifying of them all! Aaron! Ah. 
water. Oh my gosh, like, what do I have here? I don't think I've got anything besides, like, water that's really good against Aaron. Even, like, fire is, like, pretty neutral. Maybe I could take him out with fire. Can't do it with rock, though. But maybe fire. Dang, dude. Dang, dude. I just wanted to get some experience, dang it. <laughs> Gosh, that's... I, I, I'm not even leveling my team. This, this Marsh Tom's getting out of control, bro. Marsh Tom's getting so out of control, jeez. Oh, he's just wearing the legs of the Pokemon. And which Pokemon is that? Dragonite, maybe? I think off the model? I think that's what he's going for. I don't think Dragonite's in this game, though. Why am I not using the bike every time? <laughs> I'm just running it. Because running is pretty good in this game, and they didn't design the areas to be that far away. So... Yeah, I, I don't know. I've, I've, I've taken a fancy in... At least sort of engaging in... in like actual hardware discussions or doing my own kind of hardware -y things. Uh, but I think the most powerful thing and the kind of the thing I just wanted to get involved with was just discussing. I do some streams, I'll say some stuff about hardware, and I occasionally get some discussions about it happening in comments or replies or DMs or anything really. So if you feel like you disagree with me 100%, feel free to email me or at bando at bando.com or, uh, like, I, I, I'm not, I'm not exactly like, oh, I need a get room in my bag. I'm probably going to find that I, I need room in my bag, so, dang it. I've got to, I've got to drop things off, but yeah. Very important as well that I have room in my bag still as well. Because then I can demo a fun glitch soon. Or rather, no room in my bag. So what do I not need? Well, every time I get a X defend, I never use it. I'm probably not using the quick claw, although I, maybe I should on Slugma. Maybe I'll get that back. Uh, X, X. Uh, probably don't need the soft sand because I don't have anything there. Uh, the sodi pops will be good to just have in case. Orange mail. We'll save the red candies for later. Die hit. Definitely no X speed. Nope. Macho brace. That's reduced speed, that is one thing, yeah. Um, keep the ethers out of the way, I don't think I'll be needing them in single player yet, so... I'll get that quick ball. It's like my kind of easy, he's always on the slower side. And, we got an item. Woo! Full restore, baby! Full restore. That's pretty good. Uh, why is everything he's, he's getting just so good? Uh, let's put that episode away, just because I don't need it. Um, full Restore is probably too overkill, so we'll save that for a moment. Uh, also, yeah, you saw a mailbox? I have no mail. Yeah, I don't know. Hardware is, like, sort of interesting. Um, it's all over the place. Uh, I also don't really like how a lot of, like, public discussions about, like, hardware goes. Um... But I think it's more that, like, it's, you know, it's kind of dominated by Reddit and then, like, Reddit offshoots into, like, YouTube communities. YouTube isn't, like, a site that you can safely say everyone is, like, this certain way. Uh, but definitely there are certain communities that are very on Reddit and some communities that are, no, ew, stinky Reddit, like that kind of stuff. Um, I personally don't really use Reddit much. I think I use it just for like Reddit game deals. It's kind of a, a decent place, and that's just because they very certain what kinds of deals they want. That's that's just kind of how it goes. So sure, you know. Let's get those furries twice without him. He's gonna use rock throw at me or yawn. That's terrifying. The best part about yawn is that oh okay, well I'm gonna go to sleep next turn. But you know what I'm gonna do? Not be here next turn. To switch over. <laughs> it does kind of ruin if you're setting up, but yeah. Uh, but yeah, I often, to put it kindly, disagree, and to put it uh, much less ki kindly, uh, criticize certain Reddit hardware communities for uh, effectively being 
sort of freebie promotionals for <laughs> actual products. That's uh, very accusatory of me, and I would prefer to have evidence of that uh, before I like really throw it around. Um, but I definitely feel like there's a lot of opinions that get very upvoted on Reddit um, that aren't... They don't seem real. It's like it's, it's a it's a it's a story that someone's got, and it's like, did, did this really like happen? Is this something that's actually like not just blown out of proportion? And you could say just general things like, hey, if I'm you know Intel, for example, I'm gonna upvote every single like exploding AMD power uh, or like processor on their subreddit. It's like stuff like that where it's like. It's so mild, you know, oh, you're just upvoting posts. But, like, you just get a bunch of bots to go at it and to just promote the things that clearly help you and not your competitors. Um, you didn't even have to make the post. This could have been a real post, but you just promote it anyways. It's like that kind of, like, it, I'm, I'm not insinuating Intel did do that, by the way. I just want to add that. Um, but I definitely feel like there's examples of, there's probably cases of this happening, and... If someone puts me on the spot and, and tries to like debate me, debate me on that, I'll just I'll probably find um, posts out there where it's like, yeah, like some things get lots of engagement and some just flat out don't. And I don't think that's an algorithm thing. I think that's flat out like <laughs> that engagement came from somewhere. Yo Leehu! You're supposed to shout Yo Leehu since it doesn't echo here. Oh, is <laughs> outside? Rock, even if you're like on a rock cliff face, you'll you'll find that cliff face to be very echoey. It's just that, you know, <laughs> you're not really talking to a rock very often. Maybe yeah, unless you're this guy. Uh, did I mention, by the way, the old rod here catches Goldie? I should probably add that one. Um, it catches Goldie. If you want a Goldie. Goldie's okay. Gosh, 29. I don't know, I don't think he's going to evolve this stream. He's going to he's gonna get to 32, but... I'm not giving myself much of an opportunity to catch my next Pokemon either, so... Look at that seismic toss. Um, yeah, I don't know, I, I don't think, like, we need to debate over the internet about, like, hardware products as well. Like, sometimes, sometimes people on the internet get very... Debating. I love how, by the way, the secret base is behind, like, rock, you know, rock smash or cut. It's a lot of the time, it's just, there's that there. Uh, this is a fun place called the Media Falls. It's actually, um, pretty cool. Do we actually fight? I don't think we do, actually. No, I don't think there's a fight. It's a lovely, uh, as I can call it, a uh, like, curdled custard kind of look. It's just because the rocks are weird color. Oh, hi there, people. Hehehe, <laughs> with this meteorite mount chimney, will. Eh? I don't know who you are, but if you don't get in the way of Team Aqua, don't expect any mercy. <laughs> this terrible accent. Hold it right there, Team Aqua. We, Team Magma, won't allow you to get away with your misdeeds. Hehehe, <laughs> even Team Magma joins us, but it's too much trouble to deal with you all. Eh, it doesn't matter. We've got the meteorite, so off to Mount Chimney we go. Be seeing your de uh, team magma dingbats? Oh yeah, he's a pirate. Maybe I should give him Aussie accents. And you are? Fine, so you are being there. I am Maxi of Team Magma. As the head of Team Magma, I have dedicated myself to thwarting the dangerous plans of Team Aqua. Why? Because Team Aqua is a grave threat to us all. They have committed many destructive acts in their bid to enlarge the sea. We, Team Magma, love dry land above all. Team Aqua is our sworn enemy. Maxi, we should give chase to Team Aqua. Oh yeah, whoops. <laughs> There's no telling what Team Aqua will do at Mount Chimney. B and o, you should keep an eye out for Team Aqua 2. Farewell! Okay, off he goes. Okay, so one one thing I kind of do like about this game, and I've mentioned it before, but I'll, I'll say it again, and especially here. Team Aqua are not the villains if you play Pokemon Ruby. And there's going to be people playing, well, you're watching what I'm doing, going, oh, that's how that kind of happens. Um, side note, Lunatone, Sapphire exclusive, 20% chance. You'll get Solrock and Ruby. Uh, and 80% of the time you get Zubat, so 
I, I'm Cosmo. I'm a professor. I usually study meteorites and follow the town. Then some people from Team Aqua made me guide them to meteor falls. They pro wow. I wonder where the meteors are. They promised me that they would excavate meteors for me. But I, Team Aqua tricked me. Oh, that meteorite will never be mine now. But that's Team Aqua. What are they going to do with that meteorite at Mount Chimney? Okay. Uh, that is your next push for the story. Also, there's a moonstone here. Like, uh, sure. I will accept the moonstone. That's a zoo bat. Level 20, huh? It's a high level zoo bat, man. That thing's gonna be gold bat in no time. Is it 22 evolves? Also, I love this. So good. Just hopping down the water bits. And here we are. Route 115. It keeps going up. It was 111 at the beginning of the stream. It is still going up. Um, and we fight trainers. My strongest skill is busting bricks with my forehead. Okay, sure. Sure, man. Name's called Knob. That doesn't help. Let's tackle. Yeah, I don't know. There's a lot of like. I think you know. There's definitely advertisers and stuff on the internet. Uh, there's obviously bots and things like that. But people are generally good to not like fall into the traps of bots, mostly. But people do fall for like real humans who are amplified by bots. That happens a lot on the internet. And a lot of top, uh, a lot on top of that, a lot of people get into the whole like debate culture and like crazy brand loyalty. This person is just here. This beach is my secret training spot. Don't come butting in. I said butt. <laughs> and she's just floating. Away she goes. I should probably switch Pokemon at some point. Oh, he detected me. It's like Protect, but. Uh, Detect. <laughs> I never understood detect as a move, especially when there's Pokemon that can learn both. It's just a very interesting kind of thing. But you know what I mean? Where it's like, there's people on the internet that are just like, you know, I gotta prove you wrong or like, you know, don't like, convince me otherwise. It's just like, you know, like... I mean, I, I, I don't really take it to... How do I, how do I phrase it? I don't really care too much if, you know, like... Oh, Fake Out is such a mean move, by the way. It's It always attacks first. It's a high priority move. And it always uh, flinches you. But it never works if it's not the first move used in the in the, the battle. As in, if Makuita didn't use Fake Out, no other time Fake Out will hit. Uh, ooh, Vital Throw is going to turn me off. Yep, there it goes. Thanks, Sedimentar. He's burned, so... Is that? I do sort of wish I had a flying type attack, but at the end of the day, I don't think I actually will get a flying type attack. Well, a flying type attack on him, so. What a sad way to die. You sand attack, and then it's like, ugh. Luckily, it has like a rubbish bag for a head. That's probably a design, like, reason for that, but... <laughs> and let's... put an anagram up front. Just because otherwise... Otherwise, oh boy... He evolves... There we go, crushing rocks with my brain. Getting great balls, you know? Oh my gosh, look at these berries. These are block berries. Everyone likes a good old block berry. Oh, spooky man. I have a rare Pokemon, would you like me to show you? This guy's a fun trainer because uh, his rare Pokemon uh, is uh, the version exclusive that you can't get. So. Uh, he'll have his Angers in my game, and he'll have a Viper in your, in, well, in your game if you're playing Ruby. Oh, Slash is a bit of a mean attack, but that's okay, because I have Fury Swipes. Oh! Sword Stance does the job, I tell ya. I tell ya, that's such a great setup, though. That's just like, oh. Get to getting into it, so... 
you. You want my Pokemon, don't you? <laughs> now, I believe... Because... Here's a note. I've got the item finder. Let's register this. I have a hunch. You get no response if the item is not close by. But once you're, like, sort of close... The machine's responding. There's an item buried around it. And your face... Sorta of in the direction you're going. Sort of in the direction. Just gonna keep mashing the button. Okay. Okay. What? Oh, oh. There you go. There's a hot scale right there. <laughs> so hot scales are super hidden, and I'm not too sure if there's a finite number or maybe you can get some more later in the game. Um, but yeah, uh, there is a you can't come back ledge, and uh, you might remember. Huh. That looks a little familiar, doesn't it? This looks a little familiar, doesn't it? Would you know? We're back in Rustboro City. That is right. Go to the Pokey Nav. Go to the map. We went all the way from this city all the way around down here. <laughs> just goes. Uh, just kind of interesting. Uh, well, yeah, the, the key thing is, uh, you remember those two Team Aqua guys who were outside that, like, ski lift? They're not there anymore. Uh, do what you want to try and get back there. Um, but I think the best way is just to, you know, to do the lap. Get around all the way to this place, and then, uh, come back around. Fortunately, we've got a shortcut already opened up, but you do need Rock Smash to, to do it, so... So anyway, we go back, uh, oops, more up. Go east. Yeah, this is a kind of like weird part of the game though, but I guess it's like, you know, uh, especially this generation of Pokemon and onwards for a bit, they try to shove in a bit of story back into the game. Oh, hi there. Yeah, that person who not only helped me in Petalburg Woods, but also got back my salt package and then even graciously delivered it to Slateport. If I were a rain cloud, I would shower you with, shower you with gratitude and hail you as a hero. Nice. Recently, a company developed a new kind of Pokeballs. It's not going to have appreciation. Have this. Okay, sure. So I believe a repeat ball is one where if you've caught the Pokemon before, it's actually got a higher chance of catching it. It's an interesting ball. So we're back in the Rust Earth Tunnel, but uh, this time... Hi. Why can't I keep digging? My beloved awaits me in Verdant Turf. What am I to do? Okay, just break the rock, bro. Oh, you shattered that boulder blocking the way. I'd like to have this HM. Very important. You actually kind of have to come here. Because um, you're going to need strength. Strength is a great attack. It's 80 power. Uh, and, you know, at this point in the game, that's a great thing that you can teach onto anyone that you need to just, you know, get a ton of damage out of. In fact, I'm curious who can learn it in my party. You might be thinking, no. It can't be. And yes, he can't. He can't learn strength. So, uh, Kipperoni can indeed learn strength, but I am unfortunately not going to teach it to him. So, I'm going to need to figure out a HM slave for strength eventually. There's also a trainer here. Just, <laughs> just cash. I did not fight this guy at the last last stream, so uh, he's just been chilling there for a while. He's got a Geo dude. It's level 16, so maybe. Uh, Finally, I have an opportunity for Sedimental, maybe? I throw rock at rock. It breaks rock. Oh, he's dancing. That was a crit. Oh boy. I don't know what I was expecting. I don't know what I was expecting. Get him wet. Get him wet. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. I don't know exactly. Uh, uh, the internet starts to become a stranger and stranger place to me over time. Um, and I guess, like, I don't know, I fall a bit more disillusioned out of, uh, you know, gameplay. Not gameplay, but, like, you know, 
gaming discussions. It's just like stuff that generally happens on social media starts to be a little bit more, more uh, shallow, I'd say. I was going to say common denominator, but rather than directed at the audience, I think it's more just the actual like discussions themselves. They just don't seem to really have as much that's uh, punchy and meaningful uh, the discussions. And then on top of that, it's very hard to really get your voice heard anyways. Um, there are two exits through this tunnel. I wonder which one is the, t the exit you go out of. And yes, the whole place is filled with level 6 voices. Why not? I'm gonna go out the close exit. We'll just see like, what's going on over here. Pretty sure this is the actual exit, is it? Yeah, it is. So yeah, so this output's just a Verdant Turf Town, if you ever want to come back here for a moment. But it's a, it's a cool place, because then it's just like you got the, you know, the easy walk all the way east to, um, to Moorville. And then you can go up the, you know, to the... To the lift over here without any real problems, pretty much. So where does this end up? Round 116! I dropped my glasses! Oh, good thing I've got this on already. didn't drop it right at the entrance, did he? Well. There you go. Black glasses. Well, what is he wearing right now, then? Those glasses may I see him for a second? Oh, those are black glasses. That's not what I'm looking for. <laughs> he just leaves. He just leaves! This is an interesting spot if you did your hidden base here, though. You got two hidden base spots as well. There's hidden base spots all over. The secret base, sorry. Not hidden base. Um, but yeah, the secret base spot's all over, so, uh, if anyone can, let me know what is, like, your favorite spot for the secret base, because I used to always do one, um, on, uh, before the sixth gym, there used to always be, like, a really great, like, tree I would go in. So yeah, onwards and upwards is, uh, the phrase I would say. Lots of trainers here, we've already fought all of them. Because now we're back in Morville. I'm going to keep going, dang it. Actually, important, I'm going to buy some balls. Because I'm not going to have another opportunity to buy more balls. Got plenty of money now, though. Look at that. Ten. Give me a premier ball. Give me a premier ball. Give me a premier ball. I'm a premier customer right there. I s how many gens did it take until you could buy just like 20 and they give you two premium models like they did the math. There we go. I think that's enough. Because I don't think the, the thing I want to catch, which I, there is another one that I can catch and I will try and catch. I think for the end of stream, uh, I think the plan is uh, we've got a bit of a story encounter at the top of the top of the hill. It should be too long, actually. Um, and then uh, it's a ways down, and then a gym! I should be able to do all that in the next bit of time, so... So again, no grass, really, from that tunnel all the way up to here. Uh, you could continue into the cave, but remember you need strength in order to see more of the cave, but there's no one here! Wow! Hello. Cable car is ready to go up, would you like to be on it? Please step this way! It's a very tiny cable car, but this kind of was a, a strange thing to me, and I guess, like, <laughs> there's so many GBA games that have this, uh, you know, this kind of aesthetic, I don't know, so, anyway, top of the, top of the cable car, it's a little bit dusty up here, but that's okay. Let's throw a sedimentary out the front, because I need more experience on him, jeez, he's taking his time. And they're in deep fight, if they expand the sea, there'll be less habitats for Pokemon and people, yeah, hose them down, yeah, so... Basically, the bad guys are just eternally the bad guys. There's, there's no redeeming them, apparently. Uh, and they're all in these incredible firefights. Like, look at this guy. This Puccina's, you know, going at it, but he is also Maxi, so, sure, okay. Uh, no one actually fights you except for, like, these two guys up here, basically. We of Team Aqua are working hard for everyone's sake. Like, don't begin the sentence with like. If there's more water around, water Pokemon will be happy, and it will give people more fun places to swim. He's got a point. 
He's got a point. <laughs> I'm on their side now. It depends whose outfits you like. And they're very different in the remix as well, so... So this guy, he's got a Zubat. Uh, I've got Rock Throw. I've actually got a plan, finally. Oh no, the lure is coming at me at supersonic speed. And I'm slower than him all of a sudden. And I'm gonna hit myself, aren't I? Dang it. Dang it. Supersonic is my death now. I had this encounter, but now, nah. Okay, okay, I got one. I got one out of them. Maybe this is the use of my Sodi Pops. Uh, nah, we'll get that. We'll get that partial experience. In. I'll take the hit. Not the not the hit on Sedimentor, but the hit on Nonogram. Game with the swipes. But yeah, I definitely noticed that like after playing Gold and Silver on stream, I'm much more aware of like how long a two-hour like time block is, and I do feel like this game, while maybe a bit more evenly paced, is definitely um, you know there's a there's a fair bit of uh, I guess ground to cover between like. Between, uh, you know, like gyms and stuff. Now, this guy is actually, uh, I think this guy's a special, special bo battle. He's technically a boss. Yeah, he's got his own sprite and everything. This is Aqua Admin Matt. And he's cruel because he's got Carbon. So, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna set up Nonogram to basically sweep this entire fight because stuff it. Uh, so this, since this is technically a boss, uh, he comes at you with a Carvana, it has Bite, Focus Energy, Rage, and Scary Face. Uh, which, harshly lowering my speed is not worth it, but he's gonna try it. And it's effectively moot by that point. I wonder if he's gonna keep trying it as well. Let's get Sword Dance kicked in as well. It really doesn't matter, you're up against Ninjas, he's already fast, he's gonna keep getting faster, and it's a bit of a zero-sum game if you keep missing like that, so... Wow, he doesn't have any other strats, does he? He's just going in with the, the scary face, thinking that that'll do something. Well, okay. I realize that that skin is probably gonna, you know, hit me every time, but given that I've defeated him in one go, okay. Uh, he's now got a Poochina. It knows Tackle, How, Bite, and Odor Sleuth. I just want to also preface, uh, since uh, Team Magma are the villains here, um, the previous fight with the last guy, he would have also had a Zuban and a Poochina, so it's the same fight. Uh, but this one, instead of Carvana, uh, he's going to have uh, Numel with Numel? Every time. Uh, with Tackle, Growl, Ember, and Magnitude. Uh, this second Carvana uh, would also be another Numel, Numel, whatever. Uh, with the exact same moves. So, in this case, Bite, Focus, Energy, Rage, Scary, Fast, yet again. The setup is so good. The setup is so good. We lost! And now, we're in for the final fight. The power contained in the meteorite. By amplifying its power with its machine, Mount Chimney's volcanic activity will stop. FU FU FU, eventually the cooldown crater will fill with rain water, giving water Pokemon a place to live in, in the, the volcano. I mean, it'd be kind of sick, to be honest. We are committed to expand the sea. Doing so will result in the emergence of new Pokemon species. I will re we return the world back to nature for the good of Pokemon. That is Team Aqua's vision. I cannot allow an ignorant child like you to get in that way. I, Archie, will show you the consequences of meddling. There we go. Get that music in. We're in for it. We're in for a boss fight. He kept, comes in swinging with Mighty Ina. This Mighty Ina uh, isn't actually, it doesn't have the same moves in a, 
in Ruby uh, as it does here. So this one does tackle, how sand attack and bite. Uh, bite's going to be the bit of the mean move going on. Um, in Ruby, uh, you'd be fighting Maxi, and he's got sand attack, bite, uh, Odor Sleuth, and Roar instead of tackle and how. Interestingly different. It's a jamming boss fight music, I'll tell you that. Oh, oh no! I'm hit with the sand attack though, it's gonna be kind of curious. But I think getting the getting the sweep set up, it kind of just sets the stage for the rest of the fight. Oh, the sand attack is gonna be so cruel. We'll see how we go. We'll see how we go. Oh boy, I'm gonna be missing a bunch, aren't I? And he's gonna be missing a bunch. This is gonna be a ridiculous fight. This is going to be a ridiculous fight. Why does he know Raw? Excuse me? Bulbapedia, fix that. He knows Raw. The Mighty Ina, he's got some stats. We're, we're starting to get into the, you know, Pokemon that, like, just by species are uh, good enough to kick your butt. That is cool. All the setup is gone. And I've gone with my level 18 Slugma. Level 18 Slugma. Kick him with that Quick Claw. Bit. Oh, <laughs> I thought he got the quick claw kicking in. Maybe this will just burn him. That isn't going to work out in any way, shape, or form. Kipperoni, just, just get in there. Oh man, jeez. Maybe he's a special... Uh, he's got more special defense. Uh, more the case, I think. That's interesting. Uh, this isn't even as rough as Pokemon, so we'll see how we go. But lots of experience all around. Sedimentar's loving it. Kipperoni's looking <laughs> very close to that. Love, love. Uh, he's now going to come in with Gold Bat. I'm switching back to Nonogram. We are getting that set up. Dang it. Dang it. I'm doing it. Uh, so this Gold Bat. Uh, apparently, it's the same on both ends. It's uh, got Supersonic, Astonish, Bite, and Wing Attack. Definitely a fairly uh, good variety of moves. Supersonic is going to be my death knell yet again. Every time, I'm never going to be able to get around that that, that Supersonic. It's got a 50% chance of hitting it every single time it hits me. Then we get a clip show of all the times when uh, Supersonic missed. See, I tried using, you know, Confuse Ray. Confuse Ray is my jam. Supersonic, I hate it. Oh boy. Dang it. Dang it. I'm in a bit of an awkward spot, aren't I? See, so yeah, I just wanted to like, sweep, didn't I? I think this is a Sony Pop moment, isn't it? I think it is the Sony Pop moment. Yeah, it's a Sony Pop moment. That's why they give you it. You're sitting on it and you're like, oh, wait a minute. Oh my gosh! I, I'm never gonna get away from the Super Sonic. This is, this is kind of atrocious. This is kind of atrocious, because like, I've been just like sweeping everything else, and now it's just like, yep, nope. Granted, I am using Tackle when... The <laughs> there was the potential and the opportunity of me using uh, Strength earlier. I'm getting very upset about this one, I swear. It's because, like, yeah, I... Oh my goodness, he didn't even use, like, anything on me. He didn't even use, like... Oh my gosh, like, I can't... And he's just gonna spam another Super Potion. Granted, I just used two Sony Bops, but come on. That's a completely different thing. I should be using Growl. I should have been spamming Growl to begin with. Oh boy.
Man, I'm super caught out, aren't I? I'm I'm actually dead. I'm actually dead on this one. I don't think Carrot's gonna carry this one. Not at all. Cause he's got he's got bite. I'm I'm <laughs> full on done there. Do I have there's no we have we're not in the revive stage yet. We don't have revives. Man, you know? Wow. I'm getting caught out by this one. That's incredible. I was not the supersonic hits every time. I hate Super Sonic. I hate it so much. But legit, legit. Did I not get caught out by him, you know, using Super Sonic a bunch here? He was roaring the most, you know, inopportune time earlier. Carrot is remarkably getting through this stage, I'll tell you that. Maybe I should have been ev evenly leveling up Sableye while I was at it. Yeah, you know, everyone's getting experience, I guess, on this fight, so... Uh, his last Pokemon shot Pedo. I got no chance for this one, but... The Sharpedo knows Crunch. I'm very screwed already. There it is. Uh, Focus Energy, Rage, and Scary Face. Uh, if you're playing Ruby, uh, the villain has a Camerupt, uh, who has Tackle, Focus Energy, Ember, and Magnitude. Magnitude is definitely a spooky attack. The rest seems all pretty normal. But, no, the Sharpedo has totally got the best of me, because I just don't have my setup. I, like... Dang! Oh, I was all the way back here as well. Oh, that legit, that was a legit catch-out. Oh. I'm sucking it up, I'm, I'm riding it, because, like, how much money do I have now? Yeah, you lose half your money. It's a, it's a pretty gnarly one. So, but you can get money again. It's, it's nowhere near as rough in this game as perhaps older games because the easier it is to refight trainers, the easier of a time you'll have, um, you know, to get your money back if you need to. Um, especially because, uh, hold on, yeah, in the bag, you know, we got the. I still don't have it. I swear, I keep thinking I have it, but I don't have it yet, so... Well, you shouldn't really be spamming items too crazily at this point in the game, either. Well, good thing they lowered the cable car for me, otherwise I would never be able to get back up again. Making my way uphill, walking fast. So, pfft. we'll take another crack at it, I guess. I guess. Sure. I'm amazed how good, um, Tell me the, the story again. I'm surprised how good, uh, um, uh, Sableye was doing. He was doing fairly okay at the end there. Just remarkably more damage than, uh, Marsh Tomp at level 30 was doing, apparently. The worst part is that, yeah, all those guys' Pokemon are, like, level 24, 25. I'm not under level. That was just a legit catch-out. Alright. Getting that double team. We're hoping that he doesn't roar. But if he roars, I'm just gonna come back in action. The sand attack is my death now, though. I think that actually is, like, the big thing that, like, caught me out there. Alright. Two double teams. We're down. Now everything is half chance to hit, which is still apparently all of sand attack. I'm gonna be eternally, like, yelling at this boss fight going, huh. You know, he's getting lucky on all of his chances now, because there should be a chance, a, a fairly decent chance, that every single one of his attacks misses. Not every attack, but at least like, you know, there's a half chance of his attacks hitting, and a half chance of them missing. And he's currently 3 for 3 hitting. You know, like, that's crazy. And now I've got a half chance of hitting. So I was like, okay. 
dinner. Sure. And there goes the raw. And whatever setup I had is all gone. And whatever setup he had, he got one attack off and called it a day. Maybe I should just go right in with the sword sword dance and just kind of kick his butt, I guess. But there he goes with the sand attack again. He's just spamming sand attack. That's banned and competitive, bro. You ain't allowed to do that. Oh my gosh. Oh. There's no setup. There is zero setup. Oh <laughs> no! What are you doing, bro? Stop! Let me let me just let me just play the game for once. Oh no! Oh my goodness! What is this AI thinking? It's like, ah yes, he might attack me now. He might attack me. He might attack me. I don't think this I at some point I would just abort this fight. I would just abort this fight. There's no chance of me hitting him. And not a grand go. I'm gonna do the old-fashioned strat of uh, AB start select. We rebooting the game, bro. I don't trust at all. Just that's a short end of the stick fight right there. You can admit. You can admit right there. It's like, oh, look at that. Like, literally, he just constantly lands sand attack even after. The double team. What point of me doing double team is so that he doesn't reliably just hit me with the annoying things. Yeah, oh gosh, that sand attack is so irritating. Okay, 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 okay. I'm only gonna do it once. I'm only gonna do it once. We just need a little bit, just so that there's a chance that he starts missing again. Sword stance, boost up a little bit. Okay, okay, we're doing okay. Get that sword stance one more time. Just get a bit more damage. Okay. Okay. Alright, hits me with a bite. That's okay, that's okay. I'm faster than him, so it doesn't matter if he, you know, flinches me, because he can't. I'm faster. Flinching, that's a fun strategy thing by the way, flinching doesn't work if you're slower. Okay, he's got me with one sand attack, but as long as I don't eternally miss, which seems to be happening after two sand attacks. Okay, uh, super potion, yeah, he's gonna do that, he's gonna do it, it's fine. Okay, I missed after one sand attack. Cool, cool. I missed after one sand attack twice. He gets sand attack again. Is there something wrong with my game? The sand, I maybe sand attack just doesn't care about, you know, I think about uh, how many times he's double team. I hit only two times, and then he roars. We're now in a bit of bit of hell. Oh gosh, I carrots out. Can I just nightshade him? Can I just nightshade him? No, I can't nightshade him. Oh, okay, okay, okay. It's worth a try. <laughs> it was worth a try. Uh, we just go out. What? 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 <sighs> I, I, I'm at a loss of work. I'm at a loss of words. How many times Fury Swipes has missed? Just... Just missed. And now I'm in the weird spot of... Okay, well now I've got zero setup. And I wanted to, like, set up to, to fight the gold bat. So now I have to roll the dice that he misses when I, when I double team once. Nope. And it's a crit as well, just just in case that wasn't gonna kill me. So that's you know, it's a bit rough. Maybe Sedimentar's got something. Maybe I could use you know Rock Throw, and it'll it'll be a bit weak. No, never mind. Supersonic is always going to hit. It always hits. 
That's okay, because I always hurt myself every time I get hit by confusion. Every time. The swing attack shouldn't kill me. That got real darn close. Okay, we got one rock throw. Which is, that's pointless. That's a pointless amount of damage. Gosh, I am rather salty about this. What has gone wrong? What is actually like... Have I done... Hold on, am I going insane? Am I going insane? Is Supersonic the same move I've been thinking of the entire time? That's right, 55% accuracy, and it legit, it has hit like eight times in a row now. Every single time he has used Supersonic in this fight, it has always hit. I swear, I'm mad. I'm so upset right now. Because the water gun doesn't do much, so all I gotta do... Oh, don't, don't stop this. I gotta set it up. I gotta growl. Because that's the only way I'm gonna make it out of this fight. But no, I'm confused, which means it's going to be very annoying for me to use Growl. That is so frustrating. That is incredibly frustrating. I'm actually, I'm really upset about that one. I'm so upset. That just Ninjask is just like, oh yeah, he's doing fine, he's doing fine, and then suddenly, like, I know, I get it. You know, he's got raw. That's the one thing that counters any setup Pokemon. I get that. But it's it's frustrating that it's just like, oh, okay, and then literally the next Pokemon is like, yeah, you can't do anything, bro. There's gonna be something weird about like Marsh Tomp because he's not doing much damage with, um, you know, either. Uh, like I get Water Gun because oh, we just back out to the stats. I get it because my special attack is nowhere near as high as my attack, and maybe I should have probably taught him Strength. Maybe I actually should have taught him Strength and then just unlearn it. Um, but Golbat isn't really, you know. Oh my goodness. Golbat isn't really, like, a defender Pokemon. He knew. He knew. He just knew. He just knew. This is... Oh, this... We're, we're dead again, basically. That's now three... Three attempts. The first full-on was Bork. Okay, we gotta change up straight. If I'm going in with Nonogram to start off, something's gone wrong. So how about we send in the Kipperoni first? <laughs> I don't know, man. I'm, I'm still... Oh... And the worst part is that, like, the next Pokemon I want to fight, or, or catch, is just down the hill. It's just a little down the hill. Um, it wouldn't exactly be any any good against uh, any of these Pokemon using uh, Bite or Crunch, which is all three of them. But... Yeah. So, uh, yeah, this Mighty Ian has got Intimidate. That's, that is going to, like, throw me off at the beginning. But, uh... Yeah, we're just going with the Mud Shot. We should do okay. Also, reduce, well, I don't think reducing the speed really means much, but... But I can't hit the gold bat with the ground-type attack. It's gonna get me with the, with the sand attack, and that's okay, as long as I can, you know, keep drawing him, keep stalling him out. No, sure, okay. Alright, no, I've been sand attacked once. I will accept, you know, missing sometimes. Two times in a row, I start to get mad. I start to get very upset. Every time it's two times in a row, that gets me real cautious. I'm curious how the RNG works and whether it's just, it hasn't re-rolled. It just goes, well, this is the seed and the scenario hasn't changed in any way. So it's just the exact same roll twice. But okay, you know, that's a bit there. Now he's sending out Golbat. Uh, I would love to continue with Kipperoni. I'm just gonna send Carrot out and we're just gonna get like some, you know, some Nightshades down. The wing attack is just like, it's a mean move, but sure, okay. 
We get some nightshades down, that'll do some initial damage, but he is gonna probably use another super potion mid fight, because why not? Nice. Good good disrespect move right there. Okay, now I think Nonogram could survive one of these. But I'm also hoping that like if I just like go in with Fury Swipes. I'll do enough damage over two Fury Swipes. I could potentially kill him, but I wasn't expecting it in one go. It's going in with a Super Sonic, which always hits, by the way. That's like nine times in a row now. I could just switch out now. In theory. I, mm. Yeah, I don't think there's really any, like, any way of getting around that, but sure, okay. We'll just keep getting with Fury Swipes. Maybe we get a crit. Hit him twice, you know. What's he do? What's he do? I'm still confused. Will I hit myself? Okay, no. We've been good. We've been good. I'm getting through this fight. But I'm still only hitting two times with Fury Swipes. And now there's the wing attack. This is the big tell. I'm not surviving two of those. And that's got me on the fence now. Because now it's like, oh, I wanted to, like, set up and, like, do that. But... Now, I'll switch out to Kipperoni and we'll spam an item. We'll spam an item. Because he's just going to spam Wing Attack for, for days now. So. Uh, Sody Pop. Oh my gosh. Oh, why is this. Oh, why is this not in my favor all of a sudden? Okay, get him with the Growl. Get him with the Growl. He's faster, he's faster. That's okay, but the moment I start getting with the Growls, he's got nothing on me. Maybe this is my uh, my downfall, is I should have had like Growl or something else on uh, coming before. Bite is so physical, isn't it? So. Okay, <laughs> back out. Sody Pop again. I can't believe I burnt four Sody Pops on this fight. Alright, and then I just uh, tackle him, I guess. You gotta watch out for the crit. Cause you know, that, that crit kicked in last time. And that was a bit terrifying. Okay, well, there goes the gold bat. No one is dead yet. Uh... Yeah, let's see. Let's see if I can get Nonogram to maybe tank this, who knows. I should have used the buffer Pokemon instead of going straight out with the nonogram. That's okay. Shouldn't be too bad. Uh, so yeah, so Crunch, which is his damaging move. Focus Energy, Rage, Scary Face. Oh, that is half my health. That is half my health. I don't have a... <laughs> I, I don't have a safe way other than, please double team, please do what you need to do. Okay, it worked the first time. <laughs> Do I continue doing it for future goes? Maybe. Sword Sans, do, do your job. Do your job, Sword Sans. Nah. Uh, it's very sad. This is actually an atrociously sad moment. Um. No, I should have healed. Should have healed. I mean, he's technically got nothing that's super effective against Slugma, but oh my gosh. Get him with the yawn. I think he's just gonna crunch sweep. He's just gonna crunch sweep. Oh my god. Oh, I ca I'm an idiot. I just I should just keep using Slugma as like just the. Keep using Slugmar as the like, just kill the Golbat kind of Pokemon there. Just get get that Flame Body. I keep forgetting the Flame Body. What is going on with this fight? Why am I unable to like actually like take this on properly? It is such a difficulty jump as well, given that like no one has. 
Jeez. And I don't rem I, for recollection as well, I don't remember any fight in Gold and Silver being this rough. I remember the ri like the rival fight, you know, in the last stream. I remember that being rough when I first played the game. I kind of had it, but I did spam an item to get, you know, get through this time. But sure, okay. This fight is flat out. I got nothing. Like, what exactly, like, do I go in with? An electric type? Manectric? Is that, is that the strat? Is that the strat of what you use? Just Manectric? Is that... Okay, like, sure, I guess. Alright, so as long as he just doesn't use Raw right now. Okay. So now we go in with the high damage, we clear out the Mighty Eno in one go. No! I'm only hitting him two times. Now I'm gonna get Sand Attack Spam. Is there something, like... I swear, the sand attack always hit because it is a non-damaging move. I swear it had accuracy and it is affected by... Oh, legit. I thought it is affected by, like, double team by anything. I have not seen the sand attack miss. I have not seen the supersonic miss. Is there something wrong? with my luck right now? Like, am I going insane? Or is he actually, like, you know, luckier than anyone could potentially be? He's like, oh, you know, half chance to hit through two double teams? I'm going to hit every time. Uh, like, 55% chance of supersonic? I'm gonna hit nine times in a row. Am I actually going insane? Well, I was going to fight a gym this stream, but... Seems that this guy is taking up the, the spotlight. Like, I just want that double team to work, man. And I'm very certain as well, is... Is it... I hit the turbo button, sorry. Um... Okay, okay. Just, just, we're getting the Mighty Eater out. Okay, the Mighty Eater is out. I have my setup. I have my setup, which means Golbat may miss me. The keyword is may. He may miss me. I'm gonna heal because if he does hit me, I'm gonna be dead. Like that. So what do I do? I just play this fight like a coward. I play this fight like a coward. And go with the Sodi Pot. Because he shouldn't be hitting. But he is hitting. He is hitting. So... <sighs> is it a half chance or is it like two thirds? Okay, because that's just what I want. I just wanted him to miss. Just once. Oh! Okay, okay, okay. No! Stop! Oh, gosh! No! No! <laughs> uh, what is the point? What is the point? <laughs> oh, that's so aggravating. That is so irritating. That is so irritating. Hold on, legit, legit. Am I... Is there something wrong? With the evasiveness. Hey, hold on, give me the evasiveness number. Alright, generation 3. Your accuracy now times the set point by accuracy to move from accuracy. Which is always a thing, by the way. He has not been using anything that has modified accuracy. That is a, that is a flat out, like, supersonic... She hasn't used it in this fight. Yeah. Maybe. Uh. 
Uh, stat modifier, here we go, sorry. Yes. Evasion, one save. What's the evasion numbers? Uh, crack, we'll see an evasion. Uh, up it by, no, up it by two stages, that is... Sorry, not, not evasion. That should be, actually, a half chance of hitting. I'm not going insane. That it, that evasion should give me a, a, a weight of 50%. All the incoming potential moves. And Supersonic has hit every time. Roar has hit every time. Sand Attack has hit every time. There has never been a scenario Like, I mean, yeah, sure, there's no accuracy things playing now. My oh, last soda pop, bro. Oh my gosh. I'm legit, I'm legit angry about this. I'm legit, like... I've not been feeling... Sometimes I feel... When I have bad luck, I have rotten luck. When I have good luck, I have great luck. I will, I will write it in the middle sometimes. Sometimes it's just, just skill. I guess he didn't use a super potion on, on the uh, on the first Pokemon, did he? So. The flinch chance is a bit gnarly, but I know it's bite. Kind of how it works. I got nothing else. I know, I put that full restore out. It is kind of weird that Water Gun isn't doing his part. Okay. Take. What is this? Take six now? I'm beating this guy. I am trying to beat this guy. I swear. Here's a question, do I go in just quickly? Because he seems to not be very happy with me, like... Or rather, he seems to be hitting me more times than is probably normal. I'm thinking... Do I just do the damage and run? Do I do the damage and go ahead with it? I could beat this mighty in a no sweat anyways. Like, with regardless of who I send in. And by regardless, I mean the two choices, basically. Uh, for reference, um, Sword Stance is effectively, like, it doubles my attack after two stages, or triple it after three, which is maybe, I think, overall... <sighs> it hurts, it hurts every time I miss. Every time I miss. And now I am eternally in Sand Attack hell right now. This is... Crazy. Uh, and then it would be like four times the damage if I had six stages, which it's crossed my mind to have six stages of setup, but but it's like yeah, I all I've done, all I have done in this fight is two stages of setup, and I have already failed to hit him three times now. Somehow the raw fails after I've not been using double team. It's been hitting two times since. The fact that. Okay, for reference. The fact that all I have to do to defeat this Mineena is two sword stance and four hits with Fury Swipes. The four hits, there is a half chance that I will do four hits in one singular move, at least. There is a. <laughs> there is also very little chance of me missing any Fury Swipes, so even if it takes two attacks, it shouldn't be too bad, given how much opportunity I've had, so, just for I, I would like to remind the viewer what's the accuracy on Fury Swipes? It is 
it is eight. Well, it's eighty percent. That's not actually too great. Maybe that's my problem: is that I'm relying on an eighty percent accuracy move. But it's consistently. I don't think it's been hitting. I would like to hold on. I'm going to show up on screen the stats of like. How many times he's landed sand attack? Because, I mean, he's landed at one now, sure. But, like, how many times have I had, like, you know, one sand attack on, and I've tried attacking? Because, like, that is, okay, 80% chance plus a, like, a minus 50%. Just pausing here and putting something in and editing. I just wanted to drop some numbers that I counted over all seven attempts of this fight. So, we've got a couple of chance-based things going on. I'm going to break down just the few things I noticed. Uh, firstly, the Golbat in this fight used Supersonic seven times. It usually has an accuracy of 55%, but out of those seven attempts, he seemed to hit it six times. Uh, one of those attempts is also after I'd used Double Team once, which should be reducing the odds uh, to 75% of what it originally was. Uh, but even then, hitting six out of seven times, that's an 86% accuracy, which is fairly off the intended 55%. Um, I thought I would hit myself you know, more times than not, but it seems that uh, I had 10 times where I attacked while confused. Five of them hit, five of them didn't. That's actually bang on point, because confusion usually is a half chance. So, that's fine. Um, interestingly, I also counted the number of times he used Bite after I used Double Team, uh, which is usually, and this is across both Mighty Ina and the Golbat. Um, I'd never used more than two stages of Double Team in the fight, uh, so... After using Double Team once, you know, that makes accuracy 75% of what it originally was. Uh, two stages makes it 60%. Uh, bite's usually a 100% accuracy move, so ideally we'll just see those odds with the Double Team uh, reduction. Um, interestingly, it hit three times out of six when I had one Double Team active, and three times out of eight when I had two. So actually, in this case, the odds were a little bit in my favor. Um, but on the inverse side, with Sand Attack, which is also a 100% accuracy move, it hit... One out of one times after one double team, and four out of five times after two. So, granted it is only five attacks, maybe there's a bit of variance going on, but that's 80%, uh, you know, accuracy when it really should have been like 60. So, a bit unlucky there. Uh, lastly, and I think this is probably the most serious one, with me attacking with Fury Swipes, without any times I got hit by, sorry, without getting hit by any, any times of Sand Attack, I hit 9 times out of 13. Now, Fury Swipes usually has an 80% accuracy on its own. This was 69%. It's a little bit lower, you know, a little bit unlucky, but sure, okay. But to go one further, after I got hit with Sand Attack once, I hit 2 times out of 10. That is a 20% accuracy that should have been like 60%. Uh, after 2 Sand Attacks, I got hit 2 times out of... Oh, sorry, I hit 2 times out of 6. Um, well, after 3, I missed once out of 1 time. After 4, I missed once out of 1 time. And after five, I missed two times. I'd never hit beyond, you know, three sand attacks. Uh, and to top it off, when I did hit with Fury Swipes, uh, of those 13 times I hit, six of them did two two hits. Fury Swipes has a 12.5% chance of hitting two times, uh, three-eighths chance of, of hitting three times, three-eighths chance of hitting four times, and one-eighth chance hitting uh, five times. Uh, so half the time, almost... I basically only hit with an eighth chance, basically. So, rip me. Uh, there were also three times when I hit, uh, you know, a three-time hit move, uh, and two times I hit with four hits. Uh, one of those four hits was uh, when I uh, defeated a Pokemon. I counted that just because it's like, well, otherwise, I wouldn't count it otherwise. Um, but the two hit times, uh, there were two attempts. There were two times I attacked, but I didn't have... You know, like, I defeated them in two goes. You can't tell how many times you would have hit with Fury Swipes if you defeated them in two goes. Uh, but yeah, the fact that Fury Swipes didn't hit much, uh, Fury Swipes didn't hit many times, like, when it tried to attack, and Sand Attack would always hit me. Those were the things that were uniquely just against my odds in this one. This, <laughs> this fight should not have gone anywhere near as bad. So, anyway, back to it. I'm gonna just get him with the yawn. So I can actually do a setup. Maybe that's the strat. This will buy me three turns of 
using double team thingy twice and going for it? I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> oh, shit, I'm sad. I would, yeah, so I'm going to show the numbers on screen of how many times I've used... Um, yeah, like... Yeah, how many how many times I've tried using Fury uh, Swipes while he sand attacked me once. Just once. Um, and like, what's what's the odds of that? Well, it's an 80% accuracy move, and I have been sand attacked once, so maybe two thirds of the time it misses. That should still mean more than 50%. And then, yeah, how many times do I do two hits? This is three hits. That is still less than half percent chance. Sorry, less half percent. That is less than 50% of a chance for me to do three hits. It's doing a super potion. I don't think it really matters because it can't heal all his health. And he's missed a turn, but so have I. So never mind. This game hates me. This game is a little bit rigged against me, I guess. Uh, okay, okay. We're good. I'm set up. I'm fighting the gold bat. I've only got one double team on. So I'm half anticipating I get killed. But, you know, I could deal a lot of damage. No. Oh! Oh! Okay. Okay. No. We're, we're in it. We're in it this time. We're in it this time. Uh, uh, do I break? No, no, I've got this. I've got this. Because now I'm just going to keep the Fury Swipe note. Okay, no, 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 we're good, we're good, we're still good. I need to get off Fury Swipes as soon as possible, though. Now, yeah, he's going to he's gonna rough skin me, I know, I know. That's why Fury Swipes is kind of... Annoying against these guys. That's what I wanted. That's what this fight should have been like. That's what this fight should have been the entire time. But instead it was just like me constantly missing with fury swipes. Me constantly getting hit with wing attack with a crit sometimes. Gosh, that was so irritating. That was so irritating. Ah, whatever, I give up. <laughs> Don't you forget that. Then Maxi from Team Magma comes up. Thank you! With your help, we thwarted Team Aqua's destructive plan. First try. It doesn't mean you have very good plans. Remain vigilant. Keep up opposite Team Aqua. Well. I'm so burnt out. I got so worked up, man. Over just that. That. Oh. I didn't feel right. I was. I must have been doing something wrong. I think my biggest problem was I didn't have uh, really more than two Pokemon. Um, I caught Slugma right near the beginning of the stream, but man, you know, he's taking his time. Like, look at, I mean, look at that special attack. 30 compared to 64 attack, which is what I'm relying on, or 70 here, or even, you know, like even Sableye at the same level. And I get it, you know, he's a pre-evolution, but... Gosh, level 38. What have I set myself up for? Oh, well. Alright, well, with that, I would like to thank you so very, very, very much for watching. If you like watching me struggle, uh, I'm streaming every single week. Sort of. Kind of. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, tune in um, next Monday uh, when I will stream again. Uh, if you missed any part of this, uh, you can watch the vault on YouTube unless you're on YouTube, in which case, please, you can subscribe just to watch a fun number go up. Uh, or not, I guess. I mean, <laughs> you're up to you, I guess. Uh, so yeah, continue on with Pokemon. Nothing really too much to, to report on otherwise, so... <laughs> just, just that kind of stuff. Um, you can follow on other places, I guess. I'm on Twitter and uh, Fediverse for just saying random things sometimes. But, oh my goodness! My RNG, it's not very good. It's not very good. Uh, <laughs> I'm amazed. I'm amazed I got to like stream three. 
and I didn't exactly rely on the RNG. Maybe the Sableye thing at the end of the first stream was kind of like that. Oh, see ya, fellas.